Yes. Okay. Okay. It's okay. We're like Good. super Good. informal. Actually, I think we're like, hi. <laughs> hi. Oh gosh. Hi. Hi. What's up? What's up? Oh yeah. There. Oh, wait, I need to join your world. Responding. Uh, yes. Yes. Please join my world. I, I will accept. Okay. Unless I've turned off things. I might have turned off things because like sometimes people will try to join my world while I'm recording it. It's really annoying. All right, wait there. Give me one second. I have nothing wrong with second. people joining my world, just not while I'm recording. Right, that happens to me all the time. Like today, it happened, and I was doing lantern right stuff. Yeah. All right, let me. That was fun. Wait, hold on. Also, hello, chat. Okay, okay. Um, my chat froze, so I can't see you guys. Hold on. Oh I'm gosh. Let me start my thing, okay. and everything will be a okay. <laughs> YouTube's been very finicky to me the last couple of days. There we go. All right. How is our audio? Can you guys? Oh, sorry, Onion. Right. Can, can you try that again? I'm what, sorry. what? 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 I didn't see you. I didn't oh, click crap. Button. Oh, how dare you? Is it supposed to be black? No, All hold right. on. Actually, um, that's not supposed to be the case. Hold Wait, up. Hold black? up. Hold up. It's black. Oh, yep. it is black. On... It is black. Oh, okay. Okay, great. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Hang no. On. Hi, chat. Hi, everyone. Uh... Actually, I might have to... Hold on. It's not supposed to be black. I'm just... Oh, dear. Sometimes like this. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yep. Okay. Um, I have to restart. Oh, dear. Okay. Which All might right. mean I have to restart the whole stream. So, apologies. OBS decided to, to crap on me. Uh, We'll be right back run obs yeah okay we should be back now we should be good hello hello, <laughs> hello? i'm sorry ah, okay i see for that. i see the screen okay uh i'm sorry oh, about wait, that guys the... all right anyway we are here today with the little onion that could who i just call onion because that's hello. a long name hi, yes onion. please just call me onion for the sake of convenience. Oh, also. Lucky. Oh, you have got me lucky. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let me let me um swap something real quick because um I'm on a uh I'm just gonna. Oh, Ruse is here. Hi, Ruse. Hi, Ruzy. everyone. If you guys aren't familiar with Onion, I left a link to his channel in the description. You can kind of go check it out. Um, he he has yeah. a lot of fun brain rot around uh like the primordial one and enkonomia yeah. and like the shades yeah. and stuff like that and it's really cool yeah if you want to hear me yell about sealies and moon sisters then come to my channel <laughs> <laughs> i don't post too often but once in a blue moon oh that's really cool i've never seen his like idol animation yeah Sorry, sometimes it's red and sometimes it's blue it changes Ooh. So he's got like different different uh different lights and it's cool it's kind of fun but you were asking about Xianyan, and like, she goes far. Oh, damn. Yeah. Damn. She's, she's really good for traversal. I'm really happy with her. And she's also really strong. Very, very she happy like with her. She looks such a cool unit. Lucky. She well, is I'm a glad cool you unit. have her. <laughs> I, I think I'm like, trying to like save her, my primos. I yeah, am but too. I'm... I am too, honestly. Yeah. I was, I was debating. Well, because like I really want Chiori, and then and then we're mm, uh, we're yeah. probably gonna have an Arlequino eventually because she's got a a vision, right? So yeah, so she should That's be playable. That's what I'm waiting for. Yeah, I'm here's how open. That's what I'm waiting for. The thing is, is me getting uh, Sienyan means that I'm probably gonna have a little bit of a hard time getting both Chiori and Arlequino. So yeah, don't count this as too. Because Chiori's next, right? Whoa. And oh, well, there's a chest for um, you. <laughs> this is the most. How did we even? Uh, uh, I'm stuck. You okay there? <laughs> no. You need some help? You good? Um, I'm actually stuck. Like legitimately. Oh, stuck. like like you. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> no, I'm 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 stuck. Oh my god. Oh oh god. No. Uh... <laughs> um. What do we do? <laughs> can, can I get unstuck? Uh, can you hit oh, me? Oh, shit. <laughs> I died. Oh, no. 
<laughs> oh, I see what happened. Wow. Wait, what happened? Uh. 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 <laughs> uh. Yeah, you gotta teleport. Going on. Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm safe. <laughs> I have reconstituted my body like they do in those old sci fi movies. Oh, okay. You know, like the beam me out, Scotty thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh, you did the I, don't, fish I don't know where we are. Where, where are we? Oh, you're up here. Okay. I'm going back up there. Okay, I'm I'm, I, I'm, I'm, coming. I'm going to seek revenge on <laughs> the, the platform, even though I don't remember where it was. It must be over here. Oh, there it is. Uh, see you. Yeah, we're revenge you're going in the wrong the direction. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Allison Crooks, thanks for the five gifted. If you guys get a gifted membership or you join and become a member uh, during the stream, uh, you get access to my Discord, um, and you don't lose it when your membership expires. It's it's just forever. Ooh, sounds like a good deal to me. It's a pretty good deal. It's a pretty good deal. I just I, I would I would make it public. It's kind of public. It's just that like moderating a completely open server is is very 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 stressful and very very time consuming, and I have neither of those things uh -huh. to spare. Yeah. So that's why it's kind of set up that way, but. No, I totally get that. What kind of like, lore ugh. brain rot will we be discussing today? Okay, so Onion. Oh my. I promised yes. you to explain while I was um why I was suddenly. Oh having... yeah, the blood stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's here's some context, okay? I, I was told Onion okay. that like my recent um brain rot was uh, blood, and he was like, "What?" Uh, so yeah, the... I'm I'm still like, what? <laughs> So the context for this is basically um, I was doing the Narcissus and Kreutz recap video. So I was trying to like recap everything about it and then um, share, you know, all my thoughts on it and whatnot. Uh, and I, I ended up going down a Bloodborne hole where I was. Like, oh, I remember that from your from your video. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I went down the Bloodborne hole and I haven't played the game in ages. So I was like, wait a minute. These sound familiar. And so I went back and I was refreshing myself and I've been continuing to refresh myself. And the more I dig, the more there is. Oh God. And so what have you found? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, okay. So th this is super hard to summarize. Um, I'll try to summarize it because it, it's actually going to take two videos to go through the whole thing. I'm, I'm midway through one of them. Um, but you know, like in, in the Narcissus and Quartz thing, like basically you drink the blood of a dragon or a deity and like you kind of gain some of their powers. Yeah. I mean, that's basically the premise of Bloodborne. But the interesting thing about Bloodborne is that like the health point system, you recover your health by drinking blood. And you might think about that as being like, oh, well, it's a vampire thing, right? Like that's kind of like the whole vibe or whatever. The thing yeah. is, that's not actually... I didn't mean to do this. That's not actually, like, the thing, though. Like, that's not really the reason why it works. Because you're not really a vampire, you're a hunter. So... Okay. The going theory of why it's like that is that you collect the blood from the dead. And then when you consume the blood of the dead, you're basically... Um, consuming the blood's will to live, which increases your health points. Mm. And okay. if you look at it that way and you start to be like, oh, right, we're looking at like the Narcissus and Kreutz thing with all the wills and everything. Mm -hmm, and you can separate mm -hmm. pieces of yourself out and like you need a will that will rival a world or whatever. And right. that will can be absorbed via blood. You start to think about things like the forbidden knowledge in the desert a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. And you also think about the fact that ley lines are actually called dragon veins a little differently. Wait, what? In, in, in Chinese, ley lines are actually known as dragon veins. I don't remember if they're exactly I... called that in game, but like if, if you just look oh at my God. ley lines in the real world, like as a real thing, um, in Chinese, mm -hmm. they're called dragon veins. So in the context of Genshin, you're like, wait a minute. If we know like from the <laughs> manga that like, you know, a couple of, uh, what do you call it? Um, like Purusha and Ymir and stuff died and their bodies became the clouds and the earth and whatnot. Like, th does yeah. that mean like a dragon died 
And then like the ley lines are their blood vessels and we're just like little blood parasites running through their blood vessels kind of thing. It starts to make you think about mm -hmm. stuff like that. But uh, yeah, there's there's also um, a lot of... Uh, uh, oh, I can't pronounce this word. Epi ep epic... Um... You know, like when you're at communion... Whoa, you just clipped right through the ground. Oh, God, did if, I? If you've ever heard of, like, Christian communion, where they have to, like, drink wine... Yeah. And, um, it's yeah, like it's the body like the blood and of Christ. blood of Christ. Like, you're consuming a deity, yeah. right? Even yeah. if it's ritualistically. But you can kind of follow those rituals um, throughout a whole bunch of different mythologies, and you'll uncover some very interesting things. Hmm. Okay. So that's, interesting. that's where my brain rot came from, because the more I dig, the more I find. Um, and actually, yeah. specifically in um, spoilers, guys, because like if you haven't caught up, if you haven't done Lantern Right, if you haven't done most of Chen Yu Vale, at least like the main quest for it, and you haven't done Cloud Retainer Story Quest, you're probably going to get spoiled on some stuff. So just just know that. Um, in Cloud Beware. Retainer's Quest, she actually gives uh, Yuendai a, uh, some pills made oh, from yeah, some her, of her blood. blood. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you think of her as a type of deity, like she's trying to pass on a gift or a power via her blood. Right. So then what do you think it means Which for Conrians to have pure blood then? See, that's the thing. I've been really <laughs> debating if they are like dragon people or not. <laughs> There's a, but, like, a, I don't know if it's a popular theory, but it's not an uncommon mm -hmm. theory um, that Conrians are related to Seelies. Okay. Like descended of them. That. Like if, if you think of like um, Book of Enoch style with uh, uh, the Watchers the being. The Nephilim? Yeah, Watchers being the angels and then they uh, mated with humans and gave birth to the Nephilim. Yeah. Well, like if you think of it that way, like you, you still have lots of blood references right because like the nephilim drank the bloods of other people right and then seelies would be angels in this case or the watchers so the nephilim would be like the conrians in in some ways so like you could look at it that way and when you look at it that way start things start to get weird things start to get real weird yeah so that's that's my current blood rot blatant brain rot blood rot well because yeah that's, yeah. a, that's an Elden Ring <laughs> thing, but whatever. Oh, God. I, I'm not, okay, well, not going to try and connect to this to Elden Ring. That's too hard. I mean, I'm sure you could find something. Oh, I could. I just don't want to. <laughs> and it sounds hard. Like, much harder than I'm willing to take on right now. I hit a thingy and then it went away. Oh, there it is. I see Suwannies. Kill it. I are those, are those actually what they're called? Are they called Suwannis? I think so, yeah. Or what? I'm going to check. And look it up. Please do well while I kill them. Uh, I lost sight of my, my thing. I don't know where the next thing is. Well, maybe I'll just help you kill them then. Yes, Or maybe please. I'll stand here uselessly. No, wait. <laughs> Okay, wait, hydro units are not that great for this, huh? Well, actually, okay. Me? There we go. The interesting thing about these, they drop like lunar fins. Yeah. To me, they have interesting moon connections, but they're also like, don't they have dra draconic connections as well? Yeah, Suwannis were like the like... son of the Dragon King or something. Yeah. Or a Dragon King. I found the thing. Yay! Ooh. <laughs> Victory! <laughs> okay. What did you think of the world quest for Chen Yu Vale? Like with Fujin? What's Yeah, like what's your overall impression? I wanna go back to the whirlpool. Let me let me in. Let me in. Yeah. Let me in. Um no. I liked it because she actually talked about the ley lines as spirit veins. Mm-hmm. And yeah. she Yeah, she said a lot. Yeah, she's there's so much there. Um she yeah. talked about <laughs> giants. She did, yes. Which mm -hmm. I thought was really cool given like there's this whole theme in this area of making things grow and shrink. 
Mm hmm. So I really like that. Um, we got more murals, as chat is pointing out. Uh, we did get the nail painting. Oh, and I. Except that's. Right, uh, I did find that, yeah. Okay, so the nail painting in question, though, it, that one's interesting because it's actually of an event we've already seen. Yeah, it's. It's the showing chasm. the chasm, right? Yeah, it's yeah. the chasm nail. Yeah. And it's showing, like, the people of uh, Chen Yu Vale who were originally from the chasm moving up towards Chen Yu Vale. Which is interesting because they also say, like, there was a deity here before Morax was in Chen Yu Vale. Right. Which kind of makes that... sense because, like, his, his territory was in the south of Liwa. Yeah. So, like, I, I get that. But um, I've been wondering if the there was a deity that landed here. And then the people from the chasm came up here and then were adopted by that deity? Or if, like, just the whole deity moved everyone up here? I, di I didn't quite figure that part out. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure, and I do hope we learn more about that deity, because there wasn't too much aside from, oh, they tried to flood the area, and... Well, that was the flood we that we saw during again. the Moon Chase Festival, right? The one um, that sent people back down south. You know, I didn't connect that, but yeah, probably. That, that would should, make sense. That should be that flood, I think. Wait, is that what this quest is? Okay. That Wait. would make sense. I actually don't know if I'm going the right way, so I'm oh. just gonna... Um, I'm probably actually not going the right way. <laughs> I think I went the wrong way, but that's okay. I found another Suwani, and I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get ya! Um, There's chests up here. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Oh, is it that way? <laughs> yeah, it's up oh. here. My bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'm in, this is like the worst location to try and fight. Like right on a cliff, cliff's edge. I'm gonna fall. And... <laughs> <laughs> and he's so much dead. fun. He, he's just He's just a bouncy little thing. He's like a yo-yo, but vertical, he's like a vertical yo-yo. Um, he looks like a lot of fun to play. Yeah, so I think a lot of people were thinking that the Master of Chen Yu Vale might be Xiao's master. Oh, the one who forced him to eat dreams? Yeah, and I was thinking about that, but, like, I can't... I feel like it's super weird that if, if it was Xiao's master, I feel like we would have had more mention of the Bloodhound. You know what I mean? Because he's, yeah. he's called her Bloodhound. Um, yeah. I just feel like we'd have heard more of that. So I'm, I'm a little mixed. We just didn't get to hear this. much about it. Like, we didn't get to hear much about this deity, well, aside from a few things. Well, the thing is, is like they also didn't say that Morax killed her. Because we know that Morax killed Xiao's master. So if Morax didn't uh, kill the leader of Chen Yu Vale and we don't hear anything about the uh, the Bloodhound, then I don't know that this could be his master. Which is really unfortunate because I was kind of hoping that that would work because Changsheng, like her original eyes, are the same as Xiao's. Hmm. Well, because she and Baiju swapped eyes, right? Like Baiju's eyes are technically Yeah. Red. He'd look weird with red eyes. That's interesting. All right, actually, okay, where where Ooh. is this thing actually? <laughs> is it over there? It's up way? there. Okay, so you see, yeah, up over here. Wait, where are you? Where are you? You see me on the Onion. mini map? I'm over oh. here. You see me on the. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> <gasps> There's a cave that's locked. Oh, I'm going to mark that for later. Unless it opens after you do this. No. Oh, no. There's, a, there's like a chest and a puzzle on the inside. I'm going to mark this for later. Oh. Take care of it later. Random. Oh. Hello, class. Oh, okay. Today we'll so... be talking about spirals. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. What about spirals? <laughs> no, I think the deity that... I don't know if it's the same one, though. Now I'm I'm trying to think about it. Uh, if it makes sense. I mean, because we don't know. We know that um, Fujin and Chancheng fought the deity, right? Yeah, well, that's the thing. And, and I feel presumably like they beat killed it. them. Yeah. 
But it doesn't, they never said that they, they killed her. That's true. They didn't actually say that. So it might not be the case that yeah. they did. Right. But I, I don't know. So it could have been that, like, they fought her, rebelled, and then maybe she came back later with a bloodhound that Morax freed and then he killed her. Yeah. I mean, that that's a possibility, too. Um, yeah. For now, I'm still kind of, like, 50-50. Uh, Fushi has a question. They said, what about it being the other way around with Conria being non-draconic and to that people having dragons mixed in? Since many of them have similar pupils to Bishop pupils. Wait. So do the people of Tavat have draconic origins? Versus yeah. Conria? Yeah. Um. Oh. I don't know. Because I thought like. Hmm, I thought humans in general were pretty much aliens. Hmm. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess I guess that just depends on who you think the primordial one is. Yeah. Right. But I'm I'm gonna be honest. I kind of feel like the primordial one is human. Might be. And not like, I don't know. God and human are interchangeable terms to me. Considering, considering that humans have the capacity to ascend. The, yeah, I was gonna say considering the whole ascension thing. It's yeah. very possible. Yeah. Well, I should say one of the primordial ones is human, because I actually think there are two, <laughs> not just one, but we'll see. Well, that's interesting. Oh. Is that something you're going to make a video you? on? Yeah, I planned on it. OK, then I, I, won't, I won't ask you just... too much about it. Yeah, it's fine. I'll... I mean, I'd like to. Oh, go ahead. I'd like for you to have some level of surprise to keep to yourself. True. Perhaps I will. I will keep that to but myself. But if you want to give us a preview. Yeah. So, notice that. Okay. So if we go based on the descenders, right? Mm -hmm. We presume that the primordial one is the first descender. And if my is assumption right, yep. is that all of. Yeah. If Nahida is correct, which she might not be, but. I assume that all of the Descenders, they should be similar to the Primordial one. They should be similar to each other in terms of their function, their constitutions, etc. That might uh -huh, be a wrong uh -huh. assumption, but that's the assumption I'm going off of. I feel like it's a fairly safe assumption if you consider, like, the Traveler's aptitude for elemental energy and how the fragments of the third Descender are also kind of like fragments of, um, you know... It, right. it, it, yeah. it seems to, to fit the kind of themes, yeah. I guess, is what I'm saying. That would well, be if that is the case, yeah, then, you know, why wouldn't each Descender, why wouldn't there actually be a pair? Like, why wouldn't it be a pair of people? You know what I mean? Like, Aether and Lumine, and then... Wouldn't that make their, them be eight Descenders? If there well, are remember, more? one of them's not considered a descender. So it would okay, be four, fair, but there fair, would be like a fair. secret person, pretty much. So like there's a descender and then like a Kage Musha. Yes. Right? Like so, so a shadow. Yeah. So like if you had A as the Archon, then you have Wait, I'm where'd you sorry. go? Oh if god. Have, I'm sorry, I went into a cave. Um oh, Okay. Don't mind me. I, I was just avoiding oh, the okay, Geo because I didn't feel like fighting him. Um Oh, wait, this is where the mural is. Yeah, well, one of them. But yeah. not the important part isn't here. It's in the other cave. Um, the... What was I saying? Oh, like, if Makoto is the Archon, then A is the shadow of the Archon, right? But they're twins, but they're both kind of, right. like... But they're interchangeable. The same, yeah, they're, like, assuming the same responsibility. Yeah. So, like, you, I, right. I could totally see that, where it's, like, the condition where the Traveler is the Descender, or the Archon equivalent, and then the Abyss Twin is, like, our... Um, or shadow. Right. So I'm thinking that every single descender has a shadow. That would Whether be that's a sibling or a lover or something like that. That would be very interesting. Yes. So that's why whenever I think about like before sun and moon that talks about the primordial one in the four shining shades, I'm kind of just like, was one of the shades 
one of like the pair to the actual primordial one? Or did the primordial one have a pair that died? Because I was also thinking about what it actually means to be a shade, because, you know, shade can actually mean basically the ghost of a dead person. Yeah, true. So I was wondering if the shades were created from somebody that died. There were two primordial ones, one of them died. Maybe that has something to do with the Genesis Pearl. I don't know. Ooh. I mean, there's there's that whole concept of syzygy, right? Right. Well, um, so that's... I was thinking, like, you know, how how the uh, the eons of Gnosticism come in pairs too. So, like, yeah, that is supported. There is a precedent. It would be interesting. Yes. It's also made me think about Nibelung, too. Like, Nibelung may not be a descender, but I do wonder if there was a pair for him, like a gold and a silver oh. dragon. Okay, so I think Nibelung is actually supposed to be Kronos Ion in this case, which would okay. mean that his wife or consort, depending on how you want to look at it, would have been Ananki mm -hmm. or Fate. Which is funny because I think... Istaroth would be a really good fit for Ananki. See, I don't, but that's because I don't think Istaroth is the shade of time. Oh, you don't I think can prove that one. <laughs> I can prove oh. that one. I'm I'm pretty confident in that one. <laughs> but I mean, it's also it, it it's a little bit it's a little crack because like I think I feel like the community at large has very much accepted that she is the shade of time. But I would argue that there yeah. are four shades of time and that she is one of them, but she is not the shade okay. of time. She is the shade so of like, one part of time. Which would make sense. Yeah. Which it, part of time? Death. Oh. Here's the thing. If you have a god that's called every moment, every moment, every waking breath or whatever, and it's also the god that doesn't abandon a nation that was left to die... Is it not fitting that that shade is the shade of death? Because death is the thing that will never leave you and never abandon you. That's true. And then when you think about it, if she is every moment, that means you've already had all of your moments. They're all accumulated. She knows your story because it's been written. It's finished. She's the one who takes the moments and the seeds at the end of the life cycle of a plant and then distributes them to the wind where it's given to like the shade of life and then the shade of life uh births things so now i'm just thinking about <laughs> moon sister stuff sorry to not to inject like moon sister stuff but if you've seen my videos you know that i think Istaroth is probably possibly one of the moon sisters but that is a possibility your idea goes along with the whole maiden mother crone situation if you've you know idea, yeah. the whole yeah with like the maiden representing springtime life youth the mother representing like a middle point in a woman's life cycle and then the crone being like death wisdom etc it would be interesting if like Istaroth was the death part of that the crone it would be, because it kind of means that she is the future, but she only knows the past. Yeah. That would be interesting. Oh, okay. I don't know, there's some interesting themes to play around with for there, but... um. Yeah. This is something that I hypothesized for a really stupid reason um, a couple of years ago. <laughs> My reason was that, like, there was an interview with Hoyo where they were talking about um, artifacts and stuff and how they thought or they wanted to um, use the tarot as, like, inspiration for the artifacts and whatever. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, in Gnosticism, Logos is, or, or reason, if you want to go that mm -hmm. way, which is what the tr Chinese version of Logos is. Um, but also, like, in um, in the Narcissus and Kreutz quest, it's called reason instead of Logos. So I think about that a lot. Um, but like, if you want to go that way, like that's the crown, right? But then you have four other things and all of them relate to time because birth is the start. Death is the end. Mm -hmm. 
And then you've got two others which are kind of in flux. And a lot of people are saying, well, like the, the right. clock is time, so it must be a straw. And I'm like, no. Because in um in uh in tarot, the clock in this case would be pentacles, and pentacles is earth. And we know that Istaroth is wind. And wind would be the swords because the swords are equivalent to to um well, I'm sorry. The wind would be feathers because feathers are analogous to swords in the tarot. Okay. So like that's why she would be death. So the way I was looking at everything else is like the goblet should be the goblet of space, if you look at the Chinese translation. Yeah. And then the clock should be a record of absolute time. So like the geologic record. So not your perception of time. Because birth and death are kind of like twins in the sense of like they are where your perception of your time starts and ends. But the geologic mm -hmm. re record is kind of like this is absolute time. It happens no matter you're here or not. Yeah. So that's kind of the, the thing. But anyway. I, I've missed a few um a few a few questions, so I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna go back oh. up real quick. Oh wait, I haven't even been looking. <laughs> I, I know. It, it's I'm sorry. I get really um what's the word? Uh distracted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh Chuckun, Fujin also talked about someone who tried to become a god to conquer the world, maybe the second who came. I'm not sure. But I I think they're actually just talking about her god when they say that because I think they're talking about the Archon War, yeah? Because that was the they war that decided um, who should become the gods that would rule the land. Where are the particles? Oh, there they are. So I think that would have been Fujin's master, like the, the god of Tenyu Vale. I'm trying to remember when she said this. I can't. I have to go back through my footage. I'm pretty sure it's around the time when she's talking about the stuff with the Archon War. Um, okay. I, would, I will also need to go back and check to make sure that that is the case. But I'm pretty yeah. sure, because like that's when the flood happened. That was kind of like the moment where the god had this thing where they're just like, oh, we're going to uh, fight back against Morax. But they don't stand a chance against Morax, so we're going to fight a little dirty. <laughs> flood his region instead. So, um, it's absolutely insane. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's that's kind of what that one is. Um, probably. The second who came okay. should predate the Archon War by a considerable amount of time. Yes. Yes. By my estimate, like, it should predate the Archon War by about 2,000 years. Um, That's a conservative estimate, though. So. Yeah, because, like, the thing is, we don't know how long the war between the second who came lasted. Right. Which then led into the Archon War. Right. Yeah. So it could be a span of 100 years, 1,000 years, who knows? Yeah, and then the Archon War after that lasted for another 1,700 years, at least. Yeah. So, <laughs> in long periods of time, like, these wars weren't, like, three, five years. They were, like, thousands of years. Hundreds, of, hundreds of years. Yeah. Hundreds, two thousands of years. Why do these guys want to fight us? This seems like a very bad plan on their part. They are weak. We are strong. Kill them all. I can't set them on fire. Stupid infinite wood shields. Oh, and my Hydra is probably not helping with that. I will let <laughs> <It's okay>. you. <laughs> you can vaporize. I'll let you burn. Well, he's in the water. I can't. I can't. Oh, that's true. Oh, well. <laughs> I there hate we those go. wooden shields. There's no <laughs> reason for a wood shield to be that strong. It is. Un it is stupidly strong. Yeah. Ooh, no I like this reason. area. It's so pretty. I know. It's nice and open. A little mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, though, that thing up there is very similar to uh, both the Auroras at Dragonspine and the... Um, I noticed that, yeah. The Sacred Sakura. I was thinking that. Yeah. And uh, what, whatever the fucking... The Harvest... I know I'm I'm mispronouncing that. Um, Egeria. Yeah. Her tree. Also similar. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to try and pronounce it either. I just call it the Rain Tree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's good. Yeah, the, the rain tree. tree. Of wet. <laughs> the wet tree. Everyone knows what you're talking about. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I can pronounce it if the word is in front of me, but if you try to, if you, if I have to remember the word and then also remember how to pronounce it, I will not. Yeah. I will. I will offend someone instead. It'll be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll just 
I'll just not. I don't know why I'm collecting clear water jades. Uh, I don't really need them anymore, but I guess I'll just keep them on hand. You never know. Beautiful I mean, world. yeah, they could be for some character, maybe, or something. I don't Eventually. know. Eventually. They're pretty. They are pretty. Actually, I'm really curious why Clearwater Jades have the same coloring as Archeum. Oh, I didn't saying. even notice that. I'm just saying. They do. What do you think about Archeum? We haven't gotten like an official Magic Uranium Plus, right? They're, okay. they're, they're magic uranium <laughs> plosterite. Well, think about it this way. It's definitely a type of plosterite. And the reason you can say that is because it has yeah. gravity properties. Like, they were trying to use it to make anti-gravity stuff. And what do you do with plosterite? Right. It, it's anti-gravity stuff. <laughs> so, like, that... That's... Which they did use in that lantern right. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that, what that's was what it? Makes... Last year? Yeah, that's what makes or the Jade Chamber prior. throat float. Yeah. Friggin' um, uh, Cloud Retainer has a whole character story on it. Uh, I have to go back and read that. Die! I keep getting my buttons mixed up. I keep thinking he's like on a on a left or right. And he's on the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That thing is dead, dead, very dead. So much dead. Hmm. I'm yes. sorry. I disrespect <laughs> the deadness. Well. You know what I was pissed about? What? Sorry, this is kind of not necessarily off topic. Well, it kind of is off topic, but <laughs> so I I didn't play Baiju's story quest <gasps> until Chen Yu Vale actually came out. I had to play it again and... afterwards because. Oh, okay. Well, I uh, I went and rewatched it afterwards because probably for the reasons yeah. you're, you're about to explain. No, yeah. Well, it doesn't have to do with. Um, with Chen Yu Vale, really, it has to deal with the Kari Bear Archon quest. Because I saw, like, major parallels when I was playing through Baiju's quest. Oh. And also to Nibelung. To Nibelung? So, why? Yeah. Wait, why? Okay, so, you know how... Okay, so it was about, basically, the family, right? The dude who had... Who was dealing with whole bunch of issues because he had god remains inside of him and that yeah. was because of a poison his wife had concocted because she was actually trying to heal his heart condition or whatever but it caused these side effects right yeah the god remains themselves were of the chu right which was a draconic like entity yeah it and... should have been like a water dragon that zhongli killed yeah and when baiju was explaining like what they had to do in order to get rid of essentially the god remains he was explaining it as okay so there's like the mother load right and yeah. then there's the smaller what what did he call them the smaller loads or whatever that are in remote places but they're still connected to the mother load you have to destroy the mother load in order to get rid of the you know the god remains everywhere else essentially yeah. i couldn't help but wonder if the sinner works the same way Oh. So you think the sinner is in, the mother load? Yeah, I think the sinner is the mother load, and then the people who are receiving whatever kind of blessing it's giving out. Um possibly in order to get rid of that, you get rid of the sinner, who might be may or may not be the will of the abyss. It depends on what you believe. Interesting. Who, who may or may not be nibbling, because again, in that quest. The god remains were of the Chu, which is a draconic like entity. Mm hmm. I don't know. So that's what I was thinking about. Interesting. See, I went back to blood because mm -hmm. it was the blood of the Chu. <laughs> you went to, to the blood. You got blood on the brain. I got a lot of blood on my brain. <laughs> Wait, where are you? Did you? Oh, you're down I'm below. I'm looking okay. for the other simulacrum, but like not very well because I'm very distracted. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua B, thanks for the super chat. He says, hello, I have two questions for you. One, who do you think made the stone tablets during the Fontaine Archon quest? And two, when do you think they were made? Uh. Personally, I think the answer has interesting implications. Oh my God, asking me when in this game. When? <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> when? That's a mess because the timeline itself is a fucking mess, so. Uh, I mean, I suppose, okay. So like, I suppose generally speaking, 
Uh huh. Um, it has to be me. I would assume that it was made um, before Egeria died. Ye okay, yes. The, the reasoning behind that is mostly because mm -hmm. she would have already chosen Fosalor as her su successor. Or no, okay. Fosalor was her successor. I, I don't necessarily think it was during like the Remurian period. But I think it was after Remus had perished and Egeria had regained her thing. Okay. But I think the ruins themselves are actually Remurian era. But I think the tablets yeah. were like from anywhere from like 1000 to 600 years ago. Ish. Okay. The tablets themselves were 1000. Okay. Okay. So then who do you think, if it was in that time period? Well, you think given it was the that visionary? it's the prophecy, like it either has to be some, it has to be someone who knows about the prophecy or the prophecy yeah. of the world in some way, right? So that's either so definitely Egeria. definitely a visionary. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, it, it wouldn't be Fosalor, I don't think, because I would doubt, I would doubt that Fosalor had ever no. seen those. So I feel like it either Probably has to not. be Egeria or it has to be, um, a visionary of sorts, which means like a Nicole or an uh, Barbelleth or something. But like, I'm also not convinced that they would have gotten involved with anything until after 500 years ago. I don't know where this last simulacrum is. You've been all over this damn mountain. I, to be fair, I'm not looking very well or very hard because I'm, again, very oh. distracted, but I'm probably frustrating right. a bunch of people. I'm sorry. I, I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm, I'm actually decent at exploring, just not when my brain is lost. Oh, wait, what is this? Come over here. There's like a cave. Oh, so I'm trying is to open. Here? It might not be in here. Oh, wait, are you not talking about the lock key? I'm talking, there's like a cave over here with two little platforms. Yeah, that's where I found the first semi lock room. Oh, well, never mind. I stole it. Uh, is the other one? Oh, the chest. other one's in here. No, it is you in here. You found my simulacrum. <laughs> I oh. did it. You're a magical, Yay. magical onion. All those yeah. layers of magic. But yes, Ooh, nice little spot, um, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and like film something. Look at that. Oh, great shot. Okay. This is a cute little area. <laughs> this is cute, yeah. <laughs> cute little spot. Did you see that other area? There's like an area with a puzzle. I think it's near the Chijong wall, maybe? Uh, there was like this secluded area with like a little lotus pool. It was really cool. And you can like sit down in it. You will have to show me what you mean. Oh God, okay. Uh, Lead the way, my guardian onion. Teleport, yes, teleport to the Chi. Wait, you okay, warp, hold I up. follow. Okay. Wait, no, okay, so it's up here. So, you know, Chow, Chow Ying Village. Go to the teleport waypoint directly to its left. Okay, dokes. And then I think it's up here. Oh, holy shit, the king, thank you so much for the super. Wow, that was obscenely generous, but thanks. All right, Wait, let's, where are you? let's go this way. Oh, I'm over here. <laughs> You're more north than I, I already thought. teleported. Oh. <laughs> yeah. For the maker of the tablets, I'm not quite sure. I was thinking like, I don't know, some visionary like Nicole or something. Maybe. Even if she is a visionary, like maybe. No idea though. Could be somebody from Fontaine. I don't know. <laughs> this is actually a really funny thing to watch from above. <laughs> what? Just the hydro cannon. Just <laughs> <laughs> like these two guys coming at you, you know, just open up a fire hose. Yeah. It's just funny from above. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know where you're going. Yeah. Okay. 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 okay yeah. Is this? Is this it? Uh Yeah. Yes, I think yes, so. this this is it. I don't know yeah. why I opted to With the go teapot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I love these little puzzles where you just can pour tea and like. They're cute. There's more. Yeah, there's a couple. I think. This... Oh, okay. Did you do the one with the butterflies? This is the first one I no, where's <gasps> that? Uh, hold up. <laughs> let me let me think for a second. Where 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 uh where is. Wherefore Isn't is. the visionaries where Dolph near? Yes, but there could be multiple ones. Sorry, I was reading a comment. It sounds like there are multiple visionaries. Mona suggested that Barbelleth is also a visionary. And then she also said that in order yeah. to see the fate of the world, you kind of had to be a visionary. And since Nicole can see the fate of the world to some degree, then she must be by definition a visionary. Um right. so I, I think I think um I think it's correct that that Othnir is um, a visionary for sure, but I, I doubt they're the only ones. Okay, so this is the tea tree. Um, you follow the butterflies here. And uh, you end up with a magical teapot. That pours magical tea. Oh. I don't know if I did this. Oh, look, a cat. Oh. I'll have to come back and do this then. Maybe I just ignored it while I was doing story stuff. Yeah. I want to pet butterfly from that class. I do too. They're so cool looking. They're not crystal flies. They're like different. Actually, did you do Changsheng's, the Changsheng uh, dungeon little quest thing? I mean, I think you kind of have to. The one where you have to restore uh, her you... tree. Restore her tree. It's like in a cave with all the hanging yeah. pots. Yes. Yeah. And then you get like the personal little notes that are written by Fujin, if I'm not mistaken, that you can read. Yeah. Um so uh so so the butterflies okay. in that are the same as the butterflies on the around the street. Oh, okay. But there's some interesting yeah, implications there though, right? Because like um the butterflies in Changsheng's little office place, office cave. Um, I'm gonna call it <laughs> her little working cave. Uh <laughs> Those were meant to maintain that tree. And that's really interesting okay. to me because the only other place you find those butterflies is around that tree. This tea tree that Fujin planted, which is kind of like, I, I, I don't want to call it the ley line tree of this region. But like, you know how every region has like this one really spectacular or bizarre tree? tree? Yeah. Unique tree. Yeah. How's that? Well, that's the tea yeah. tree in this case, right? That was planted by Fujin. So I was thinking about the butterflies and like why they're there. And then I remembered the Sangle Corexes. Do you remember from the uh -huh. Enkidomiya event? Yes, from Pre-Realms Gateway event, yeah. And their job yeah. was to digest the harsh elemental energies so that they were uh, not toxic or not harmful to humans. Yeah. But then where do you find crystal flies? You find them around areas that are uh, high in elemental energy or like where the ley lines are opened up. Because that's the mm -hmm. lore about why there are so many at the Dawn Winery, right? Because, like, the ley lines are really powerful there or something. So the crystal flies mm -hmm, gather. Mm -hmm. So then I'm like, well, wait a minute. Are all the crystal flies gathering around the ley line energies and stuff? Because they're, like, little spirit stewards of the tree. Like, of Ermin's soul? Interesting. Yeah. That was, See, that was I'm the like... lore I got. <laughs> I don't know if it's the right See, lore, like... but, like. Yeah. No, it sounds it sounds right. Um, I'm, cause I, I made in my center video, the assertion that the traveler, Deshret, descenders in general are like crystal flies because Deshret is kind of depicted as one in yeah. some of his imagery. Um, and it made me think about, I know we were talking about earlier how they just shove shit into like random ass events or quests. Like with little one-liners that you wouldn't even know are important, but they are important. <laughs> um, way back when, do you remember the Tanuki event where we had yeah. to take I remember that the Tanuki, Tanuki around the world? Yeah. Well, there was this one part where you go to Liyue, right? You go to the Guyan Stone, Stone Forest and there's this weird conversation about crystal flies. That, like, I remember it stood out to me as so odd because it was the conversation was around the fact that all crystal fly cores look the same, oh, regardless why all of what crystal. 
Right, and they're all animal. I couldn't remember where that conversation was. Thank you. Yeah, it, I was looking it's for that. from that event. Yeah. Oh. So, and then I was like, okay. Well, you know why? So because it's all dead stuff. Because <laughs> it's throughout the state of death. <laughs> the thousand wins. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Gary. I was just, oh my god. <laughs> well, I like, don't know, I did not Venti's first story <laughs> quest was him guiding a lost dead soul. Yeah. Yeah, no, like, the wind He's the is... the fragment of a thousand yeah. winds. And then it kind of also goes back to what the R&R &R were saying about... Well, they they called it... What did they call it? Oh, there was a term for it. Uh... Where they called, the, like, the winds. The, um... Oh. The winds. Hmm. Like, they, they said... Oh, my gosh. They called it something specific, and I cannot remember. It was some Latin term... Oh, I don't know. Oh my god, I cannot remember. But they said something about, like, um, the wind being, like, basically dead. Oh. Did they? And, like, how time... They mentioned time as well. Oh my goodness. Okay, oh my goodness. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, the Ad yeah. Oblivion. Thank you. Thank you, chat. The Ad oh. Oblivion. Yeah. Thank you. I forgot about that. Interesting. Yeah. Well then! I mean, I guess that answers the Chinookies' question, right? They're animal because they're dead. I mean, yeah. <laughs> they're dead. They're freaking dead. But I also... <laughs> but I mean, also, all crystal flies can be all elements, right? So it makes me think... Uh, they like, can. Like, if the travelers and yeah. everything... Yeah. And also, the Sangha Corexes or whatever are a type of crystal fly. Yep. And they purify abyssal corruption, which is something the travelers kind of have done. Yeah. At least when they purified Devalin's tear. So like I'm I've been thinking about descenders as crystal flies, able to purify abyssal corruption, able to house all of the elements. But at the end of the day, they're all they all go back to animo, which makes me <gasps> it, it, it makes me eye venti a lot. <laughs> Am I tripping or like has the grass always done this? No. Why is why it lighting is it up? Blowing? Why is it doing this? I mean, I like it, but why is it doing this? <laughs> I, mean, I might be tripping. Uh, yeah, I might be tripping. When did it? I don't when know. Did it start doing it's just this? that spot. Well, no, no, it's not just that spot. Well, it's it's. <gasps> it's a no, lot it of is spots. that spot. No, it's a lot of spots. Oh. Oh. Look at all the butterflies. Ooh, pretty. They're so pretty. Oh, I need to find all of these little monuments. Which monuments? These little stone thingies, and then you can find... I think they're related to Guhua. Like, oh, they're, um, swords? Oh, that would make sense, because I haven't... I don't think I found the, uh... Um... I found the claymore. I know there's a spear. Yeah, I found one, like, on a mountain. Top yeah. somewhere, but well, that's when you find during yeah. the quest, right? Well, yeah, there's one where you emerge outside of the cave, right, or the little training area that Guhua had. But then there's yeah. like another one somewhere on some on top of some mountain. Yeah, I don't remember. I've been yeah. marking them on the map. I gotta go look. Oh. Uh... But like, I haven't spent enough time in Chen Yu Vale apart from just doing the quests and stuff. To, like know my way around really well yet. Mm-hmm. We'll get there. Wait, where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm playing with the incense burners. It likes to play ping pong with me. I was so confused with this puzzle at first. I feel like a I lot of people I didn't... were. Yeah, I was just like, what do I do? And then I realized, I was like, oh, okay. Like, you have to line up and then shoot got it yeah and the other thing is too is i thought for a while you couldn't just ping pong them back and forth like that i thought you had to run back to the thing and then put it in and then yeah i didn't know you could ping pong it back and forth at first but that that came yeah. later i was i felt really <laughs> dumb after that i was like oh oh Same. i was like oh you this know, is actually quite simple this game okay. isn't hard <laughs> And, you know, no. like, the, the puzzles aren't that hard. The game's not that hard. Nothing in this game's, like, particularly hard. But the tutorials are 
freaking master mode. Yeah. The tutorials are the hardest part of this game because I feel like they overcomplicate they just... things. They do. It's awful. Like, like I'll just look at them like, oh, too long, didn't read, and then move on. <laughs> yeah, it's really annoying. I hate it. <laughs> I like how there's meshies here, though. It's like it shows that it's kind of semi Sumeru border. Which makes me wonder that if uh, then okay, so I, I'm sure it probably bothers you as much as it bothers me, but like on the map, um, if you zoom yeah. out, like we still have like a hole in the map. Yeah, that's annoying. I'm like, what the fuck is there? <laughs> is it a Fontaine region? Is it like a Sumeru? Is it, or it's, is it it's like... like a tri state corner area, isn't it? Basically, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I don't think it's Fontaine because the waterfall border, right? Like, Right, so this area, like, if you, there's, like, that lightened border. That's where Fontaine's all elevated, so I doubt it's Fontaine. So it's either Sumeru yeah. or Liwe or both. But given that there are mushrooms in this area, too, I'm going to say, like, it's probably, like, one of those border regions. Which would be interesting. Do you think it's, like, another forest? I don't think it's a rainforest region. Would it be? Or it might be, actually, because it connects. I mean, some of it's going to be desert. And then it looks yeah. like if you look at the edge of um, the Sumeru rainforest here, like it gets kind of yellow. Oh, yeah. So my guess is it's going to be kind of like the opposite of Chen Yu Vale. Not, oh, God. Okay. Not wet and crystally <laughs> and pretty, but you know. Yeah. I think it'll be kind of the opposite. But uh, someone, someone pointed out that. Um, the door to Conria, I forget exactly where it is. Um, I know how to get there. I just never uh, remember where it is. But they were pointing out that yeah. wherever the door is, when you're facing it, it's facing this hole. It's facing this hole? Oh. The hole in the map. So are they saying, like, Conria might be in the area underneath this? Yeah, they're saying something along those lines. I don't know if I agree with it. But I thought mm -hmm. it was an interesting observation. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. Should have kept my EM stuff on because, like, everything's in the water anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, well, bye. I couldn't move. It's okay. I didn't just leave me here to die. Okay, I'm coming to help. The thing is, is like, Shinyan buffs her attack enough that, like, she can be a DPS even when she's not built as one. Wait, what is she built as? A healer. Oh. I didn't know she was a healer. She's Wait, a healer. I had no idea. I yeah, have she, no idea. She heals on her burst, and then she boosts your plunge damage by a percentage of her attack. Oh, I thought okay. she was a DPS. Never mind. Okay. I mean, you can make her into one. Like, she scales on attack, so, like, you build her with attack, right? And if you use her to plunge, like, you just jump and plunge with her and use her skill and whatnot like that, you can do, like, a, a pretty good amount of damage, and it's animo, so you're still swirl. Oh. So, like, it's not bad. Mm-hmm. Oh. This guy wants to sit peacefully somewhere. Does, does he want to sit on a chair? Can I put him these on a chair? These butterflies really are pretty. Oh, oh what? I was right. He wants to sit on a chair. <laughs> <laughs> what a cultured little guy. I'm gonna... These little things are See so what? Cute. Watch, watch. See my gaming? He's got HP now. Yes. He's healing. Oh. Um... He's healing. Ooh. It's a yeah, these simulacrums are... Oh. Oh, interesting. That's why she's cool. That's why I, I said I don't, I don't need Jean anymore. Know. That's why I said. Oh, I... yeah. It, it wasn't because they're not... both animo. It's I because they're not... both animo healers. I just, I just thought it was because they were both animo. Okay, well, ignore uh. me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that was true, I got Wander already. I really don't need her. That's oh. that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. It's uh, it's uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, anyway, <laughs> good times. Love the butterflies. So I guess I didn't you know, realize these... like our our footsteps always light up in this area, and there's just butterflies behind I us. I guess so. I didn't realize. Is it? 
It's during the day too, isn't it? Or is it just at night? I don't know. I'm gonna wait for the sun to come up. Yee. Immense waiting. I mean, I guess I could uh, change the clock. That's that's within my power. My Paimon power. Spencer Dario, thanks for the super. Do you think the second who came usurped Celestia from the primordial one and could be operating under the guise of the latter, making it a demiurge of sorts? Nope. Um, I, I don't. don't. Oh. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we agree. We are agreed. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, um, no, I I don't believe that. Uh-huh. Do you want to go ahead? You can you can say your piece. Well, first. I don't believe the second who came is ruling. Or okay, maybe I should say I don't believe the second descender is ruling. And the reason for that is I don't think a descender is ruling Celestia at all right now. Because I find it very strange that, you know, according to, what was it, in Nibelung's character, or not Nibelung, uh, Nouvellet's character story, mm -hmm. it mentions that the Primordial One lost its absolute authority, mm -hmm. which would mean, so you're not a descender anymore, or it's not a descender who's ruling. Mm -hmm. And they kind of, they spread the authority across the seven archons, right? Presumably because they don't have the constitution to hold absolute authority. Uh, I don't know. I guess it depends on what you think the authority is. Yeah. I mean, like, regardless, like, they don't have it. No, yeah, they so, don't. I mean... Yeah. So, I, I, I don't know. I do think the primordial one is not currently ruling. I do agree with that. What do you think? I don't think they're ruling either. And mm -hmm. my reasoning is more because the second who came is not a person. It's a group of people. <laughs> yeah. But but then Stopping. there's the conversation about... Um, uh. <laughs> what was it? I think it was in Nouvellet's story quest. Or not story quest, but story character story. Where it mentions the one who came after. Which is specific to one the, person, yeah, presumably. Yeah, so here, in Chinese, it says something like... Oh, wait, I should probably like, help you. <laughs> in Chinese, it says something to the effect of um, another latecomer. But here's the thing. Okay. My, my logic as to why that's probably not the second who came as a singular person is yeah. because it doesn't necessarily make sense to me that they would be cut they would be invaders from beyond the firmament that would then uh -huh. suddenly form some sort of truce with the primordial one with no explanation whatsoever to then split the third descender into yeah. pieces like that part right. doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me like why they would just suddenly have an alliance and then also it wouldn't make sense to me as to why the third descender was there because then the first and second would have had to yeah. have an alliance for a long time. Which is why I'm kind of skeptical of that part. But the other reason is because the Goddess of Flowers says that they they were repelled. And also that um, the Primordial One locked himself away. Mm -hmm. Like he kind of just retreated. I don't even think that's true. Yeah. They've been awfully silent. I think silent. the Primordial One's dead. See, mm -hmm. I don't. But I think they're sleeping. Oh. Okay. So, do you still do you do you play Star Rail? Yes, I was actually trying to play through uh, Pentaconi today. So I'm not I'm not going to spoil anything for Pentaconi. Um, okay. And I don't in, I don't intend to make content on it either. Um, I I find Star Rail to be a very difficult game to make um, theoretical content for, like theory content. I find it just really, 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 yeah. really hard. Um, but Henakoni has the most Genshin-esque themes and narratives ever. Oh, yeah. Like a, it's a dream world. The Memoria, <laughs> um, all of those yeah. sorts of things. Uh, the in, in One interesting thing about Henakoni is it kind of seems like it's um, working on the theory of the unconscious god. I don't know if you're familiar okay. with that uh that theory but the idea is that like a lot of the stuff that monotheistic gods do don't make sense 
I, I didn't actually have a reason for shooting okay. this in the air. I just kind of wanted to. <laughs> um, so a lot the, the idea is that like if God is unconscious, then it explains a lot of the behavior um, that you see, like a lot of their reactions, because they, mm -hmm. they're not necessarily in control of their choices or whatever. They're just kind of reacting because they're unconscious because they're sleeping because they have to sleep in order for the world to exist. So, um, okay. The, it's, it's kind of how I see Pentaconi in a lot of ways is that like their God is unconscious. So in this case, there must be a dreamer who is unconscious. That's kind of holding the dream world stable. And I kind of feel like that might be what the primordial one is. And yeah, I've I, I feel long like, thought that's probably Istaroth in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, it could be like someone's doing mm. it, you know, yeah. someone's doing it. So um, that that's kind of my thought on it. I, I still think the weirdest thing about the idea that um, the second who came is ruling is that, you know, it doesn't necessarily line up with uh, the whole alliance thing of the Gnosis being the remains of the third descender made with the help of the first and the second you know yeah that that's kind of the part where i'm like this, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense if they really do go that route so well i'm not gonna say much but i i do have a video planned oh. revolving around king ermine that touches on some of these topics that you might find interesting but I can't really say much about it without That's spoiling okay. too much. I can't much say anything that. about mine either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because no one's going to see it coming. Oh, Lord. If you guys wanted blood crack, I'm going to give you guys blood crack. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Out of context. I I'll never say that again. Yeah. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> But for some reason, no, like, yeah. my, my brain went blood crack. Oh, you mean butt crack? And I'm like, no, no, no blood. Wait. And then all three got mixed together. And then that's just not a very good picture. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. Please never, never <laughs> say that again. Uh, anyway. I did not need that visual, but okay. I didn't uh, need that visual. I'm God sorry, damn it. I did. Okay. I'm sorry, Onion. We, we went around in circles again. I'm... Um, I'm sorry. And I'm also sorry for the <laughs> mental image. I'm not that sorry because it's funny, but I'm I'm a little sorry. <laughs> okay. <Well. laughs> sorry. Anyway, Nana's, thanks for the yeah. super. Mm -hmm. They said you both have the most beautiful voices ever, and thank you very much. Oh, thank you. You have a Sweet. beautiful voice, little onion. You shall sing us a song. Thank you. Never. <laughs> onions don't sing. I mean, uh, uh, onions don't talk either. Onions don't talk either. Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> there are Shh, secret okay. rules to onion people. There are secret rules to oniondom. There are many layers. Many layers to the onion folk. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, shit. No. Fuck. I fell down the fucking oh. mountain. Okay. I'm sorry. Wait, I'll get back up eventually. It's okay. I decided to take the hard way for reasons. For whatever reason. <laughs> I, I, I just like to watch Cloud Retainer, like, kick her way up walls. Okay, I can understand that. She's very it, It's kind of funny. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Okay. On a slightly related note, with, you know, the concept of Pinnaconi having a dreamer, possibly, to that also, definitely having a dreamer, especially after the Sumeru Archon quest. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. And them having it be specifically Nilu, who is referencing the goddess of flowers, mm -hmm. who you've done a video on referencing Istaroth. Okay, I, I, I have to backpedal that one a little bit. Oh? Because after I started thinking about the Istaroth, the shade of death thing a little bit more, I started realizing, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. In that case, the goddess of flowers can't be the shade of death because she doesn't kill things. She created life. Okay. So if anything, she's like either the shade of life or the um the uh like a like a fragment of the shade of life, kind of venti-ish style, right? 
See, okay, so here's the thing that kind of, that I've kind of been thinking about when we think about like the different shades, I think what they're doing, they may be conflating all of them together at once because they're they going might. for the whole, these are actually the same and like different entities, but the same, you know what I mean? Yeah, they might. They might do a Hecate on us. And I think that's the case. Well, bringing that back to uh, Pentaconi, actually, since the Eon responsible or supposedly responsible for the dreamscape stuff was Shife or whatever, however you pronounce it. And she is triple faced. True, true, true. With a whole bunch of like rainbow imagery as well, which we've been getting a lot of in the game as associated with perhaps the Omni element slash Paimon, who has a whole bunch of moon references. But what's interesting is it mostly uses the Memoria, which seems to be some part of Remembrance. Yeah. Which I'm... Hmm. I don't know. There's but some interesting, also interesting stuff because... there. Oh, dear. Yeah. But I mean, Black Swan, she also has some very interesting fate connections. She does. Well, I mean, like, she has that Loom of Fate as one of her talents or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. Loom of Fate's Caprice. Yeah. Which also deals with music, which is the whole theme, I guess, of <laughs> the harmony and everything, and the Moon Sisters and everything. And she looks kind of like, what is it called? The Welkin Moon shit? She reminds me of Aponia. Who does? Just because oh. of the veil. Oh, 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 Black oh, Swan. Swan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's one of these miasma thingies. Okay. Yeah, they, they saw me and I was just like, well, I guess I'm here now. <laughs> I can't see anything. This is also <laughs> very similar to what we had to deal with in Sumeru. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It is. It's the, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, what the withering fuck zones, withering zones, withering zones. Yes. Yes. The withering zones. Yeah, they're definitely similar, for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, I got one shot. Oh goodness. <laughs> I didn't dodge. Uh, my poor Gomming. I should give him a break. <laughs> I mean it, like oh, I wait, really should. Oh wait, why am should. I just... Why? Keep using him. Well, cause he keeps oh, dying, God, the poor so guy. I mean, yeah, right, it, let it, me it's, help. it's partly my skill issue and partly because I forget that he drains his own HP. Oh, does he? He does. Oh, okay. I well, forget. <laughs> and then I'm not very careful. <laughs> anyway, thank you for your <laughs> assistance. Yes. Sorry, I was like randomly fighting hilly trolls and I was like, why do they keep spawning? <laughs> because I am being ridiculous and I'm not going to the miasma block. <laughs> That's why they keep spawning. Because I'm being stupid. That's normal. That's normal. That's normal. But yeah, no, there's, there's some interesting stuff. There's some interesting themes and narratives, which is one of the reasons I'm pretty um, actually excited for Pentacony. I still don't intend yes. to make Star Rail yes. content. I, I still won't make Star Rail content. <laughs> Um, no, if anything, just like mention it in a video for Genshin. Well, of I'm all also the I, I'm not recording it either, which kind of makes it tricky. You know? Oh yeah, that's tricky. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, I'm just kind of not, but I'm I'm looking for hints and clues in it because it does feel very relevant. Also, the story at this time around oh, yeah. is actually really good. Um, they botched the Loafu art so badly. I was really worried about this one. Yeah, I, I um, wasn't really interested. In I, it I, as much. I've kind of decided that Star Rail is best when it's like at its most absurd. Okay, yeah. Like the Luafu is kind of like this high fan kind of high fantasy, very serious, uh, you know, political drama. And I it, just don't yeah. I just don't think Star Rail does that very well. I don't think it lends itself to that very well. I think it's you know, like it. I don't know. I I, I think the yeah. absurdity of like cosmic horrors in space and stuff is so much more interesting, and it, it fits with like all their pop culture reference vibes and stuff like that a little bit more. But maybe that's just me. 
Yeah. Or maybe it's just the fact yeah, that they I have agree. a different writer this time around and he's actually decent. I I think that might that might be the case <laughs> as well. Because like the Luafu just kind of I don't know, it was just like we're here, we've been here for way too long, we need to move on. It That's had just a good how setup, I felt. But then it like did, they, they but... changed so many this is like the a ambrosial thing. arbor stuff was horrible in my opinion like the it way was it was done was weird. bad it was executed, yeah, it was executed super executed. weird yeah it was not my favorite like i think it's really annoying that people still don't really know who shuhu is and he's actually like oh yeah kind of important she's really important or at least they made it seem like she was well i mean like that's blades you know that, that, that was a thing that cursed Blade. Mm -hmm. So it feels super weird when, you know... Oh, I think I'm it's supposed to, like, like a side go on quest? these and do things. Like, the whole Sanctus Medicus thing kind of felt like a side quest while also oh, not. Yeah, that was supposed to be, like, a main thing, and then they're just like, oh, no, actually, they're yeah. not important at all, but, like, they kind of didn't... I, they didn't set it up with anything else that felt meaningful. I guess is yeah. kind of where I ended up with it. Yeah. I I don't know. Well, uh, at most I just got me. At most I just look I I just look at Star Rail for things that I can apply to Genshin essentially because yeah. you know there's I a know. lot of shared themes. It's so. kind of sad. Like I'm kind of sad about it because there really aren't that many Star Rail lore creators either and I think it's because a lot of people are also having similar problems and I'm kind of hoping that Penacony inspires some people to kind of hop into it but I also feel like because the world is so big and so yeah. there are so many And they're pieces, all so distinct. Yeah, yeah they're all like so separate. Each planet is distinct. Like yeah. I feel like it's so hard especially for YouTube because like you can't really create something that you know people will search for that easily. Like you're kind of limited in scope that way, but like that's not not where most of the interesting stuff is. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean like you could focus on the I, main I main storyline like with the trailblazers like... and then the each Oh, oh, we're oh, we're not we, in Chenyu Vale anymore. We aren't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're near I'm... Mount Hulao. Okay. We're, we're going to go back to the around. <laughs> but yeah like oh god i lost my train of thought what, what was i about to say oh i got i got uh i got hang on oh you oh no go ahead go ahead i i, I got sidetracked oh. and i missed some questions so i got i gotta really quick go back oh sure yeah i really haven't missed questions all right um, well i'll just say this then you know I guess a, a content creator could focus on like the main main storyline stuff and do like the factions because I feel like the factions are really interesting, like especially with the yeah. new one, those people from that manor or whatever the fuck with the Duke, like they're interesting. The masked were interesting. Oh, you mean the Resident Evil crew? Yeah, but it what? also feels like it's because they have major lore implications. So you could just yeah. focus on. Yeah, they, they yeah. do feel like that. But again, like it's still it's still a little bit limiting, I guess. And then, like, then you is, find, yeah. um, anything else I say is, is feels like it's going to run into more sp spoiler territory, so I won't do it. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to oh. spoil anyone because this isn't really like the point of the, the stream. But um, there's right. some things where I'm just like, I don't know. I, I find it a little frustrating, um, to work with, mostly. Yeah. But there, there's one um character from the that group that you're talking about, the destruction, whatever, the annihilation gang, um, that. I didn't see it at first, but then I was like, oh, this is a Bloodborne boss. Wait, who? Wait, which one? The puppeteer? The lady with the hat? No, the puppeteer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, because okay, like the little girl, but that's actually... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. the one that looks like the Pope. It reminded me of the uh, the wet nurse. Yeah, I've, I've never played Bloodborne, so... <laughs> oh, there's, um, there's like, a wet nurse. It's, like, this big hunched-over black cloak, and it carries a baby. Oh, well, okay. An eldritch monster baby. Okay, like, just to be clear. It's not, like, a human baby. It's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, interesting. But, anyway, it reminded me of that. I was just like, oh, hey! Uh, <laughs> Kiwi socks. Thanks for the super. What do you think about the parable of the tree? The tree is the third descender. The first who came is the king. And the priest is Istaroth, and thus the second. 
I have my own thoughts. <laughs> you can go first if you want. Um. I mean, I don't think. Wait. It's okay. Wait. Huh? Sorry. I, I just want a clarification. Yeah. Um. So wait. They're saying. Wait. Who's the second? Who are they saying? Uh. Are they saying Istaroth is the, the second? The third is the tree. The first is the, third the is primordial the one. And then the priest the is Istaroth, and therefore the second. Okay, so, okay. Um, okay. Sorry, go ahead. I don't think they're descenders. So, like, I, I kind of have a hard time labeling them as the first, second, or third just because I don't think that they're descenders, because I think the descenders are different. Um... So you mean like the primordial one, um, or who are you referring to? Like, I don't think Istaroth is a descender, for example. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, however, like when we, when we talk about first, second, and third, like we still can consider things like the first, second, third, and fourth shade, right? Mm -hmm. If you think of it that way, then I could see it that way, but then I wonder who's the fourth. Okay. Um, hmm. but I kind of hmm. feel like, I kind of feel like, how, how do I, I feel like I need to reread the parable of the tree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I missed one. Uh-oh. Or did I? No, I didn't. Um, because I, I don't remember the, the first, um, the king in that parable is supposed to be the uh, incarnation of the primordial one, yes? Yes. The priest is supposed to be the incarnation of Istaroth. And then the gardener and the tree spirit, they're not identified. I know in one of my Sun and Moon, one of my Sun of Moon videos, I implied that Dainsleth might have been the gardener or slash Venti. But now I kind of actually think it might have been Ermin. <sighs> I'm thinking. That Ermin planted the tree. And the tree, well, I think the tree is a dead lady, but. I feel like if I say the things that I want to say, like I'm actually gonna give away a couple of things from a video I'm working on. I don't know. Oh, okay, know then don't. If I then want don't. to yet, so I'm trying to find a way oh. to phrase this in like a somewhat cryptic way that's still actually informative. <laughs> okay. Um. <sighs> okay. Here's the thing. I think Deshret is the son of the primordial one. Okay. I also think I can prove it. Um, okay. I also think that I can prove Deshret is Ermin now. And since okay. Ermin is King Solomon, and this was a parable that could have referred to something in relation to to um, King Solomon, you, you just because of the bird, the rook bird, um, mm -hmm. the rook bird, I thought, might be a reference to Ruka Devada or the Simurg. Um, so I don't. Okay. I, did, I never really thought of it as being something that was uh, primordial one level, because an incarnation of the primordial one could, to me, be like the son of God, right? Because if you if you think yes. about it, like technically, yeah, like Jesus yeah. is the son of God, for example, and then if Jesus is also kind of like considered a type of king, or at least he was the successor yes. of whatever King Solomon was supposed to do. Um, subduing yes. the demons and evils and uniting people and all that kind of stuff. But he was supposed to be carrying the will of God, which makes him, in a lot of ways, an incarnation of God because he's carrying God's will, he's got God's power, all that kind of stuff, right? Yes. Emphasis on the God's will. He's also got God's blood. <laughs> um, right. He's divine and human. <laughs> yes. So that's kind of where my head is at. I'm looking at it more like I think um, it might not be... Uh, that the primordial one took human form or a reference to the primordial one, but instead a reference to like the primordial one's kin, a successor of his or something similar. Does okay. that make sense? Interesting. Yes. 
So does that also apply to Istaroth? Well, yeah. Because, like, Istaroth in my head is the Shade of Death. So if I think of the Shade of Death and the priest and everything, well, she's talking about a tree that's going to die. And then she gives you the instructions for how it can come back. Yeah. So... The but the thing being, is, there's there's like a lot of overlap, though. There, there is a lot of overlap, which is why it's a parable, right? Yeah. And like, with Istaroth in particular, and the last part of the parable, which talks about, you know, planting a tree, grows in 500 years, or whatever, blah, 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 and how A's second story quest basically paralleled that, and Istaroth was involved with that. Mm, but that wasn't about death that was about saving people i have a theory about that okay i think the tree was never planted by a and maybe this is a hot take i actually think it was originally planted in the beginning of inazuma by makoto and the reason a doesn't remember it is because as her dying wish istaroth took the memory hmm I can't prove this yet. I need to let it cook more. But, but. Okay. There are some interesting things that can make this work because uh, I kind of wish Ruse was here to explain something because she's working on a video about time right now. And she talked oh, okay. about like three different types of time that Genshin could have and we don't know which one it is. Yeah. And that, that kind of matters for this to work or not work. Um, oh. Because, like, I don't actually think time travel is possible in, in Genshin. I think... I, I think we're either looking at retro-causality or we're looking at um, a type of predetermination. And the reason I think that is because we have so much emphasis on fate. Because, like, fate yeah. is irrefutable. Fate is fickle or whatever. And the, but then we also have some lines that are just, like, only the future can save the past. Well, that's retro-causality, like, just straight up, right? Yeah. And, like, I get that because there's also a lot of... There's also a lot of just conflation between time and memories. Right. Like, if you remember in the Eternal Oasis, you know how you had to do yeah. those little flower puzzles or whatever? If you looked at the instructions, it literally says you are winding back time mm -hmm. by reminding the flowers or whatever. Yeah. We could actually open it up. Black yeah. Swan has an interesting line. This isn't a spoiler or anything. She just has this interesting mm -hmm. line that says, if everyone agrees on a, sh on a memory that they have, like if everyone has the same memory, then it becomes a fact. And I was like, that is very okay. Ermansel, isn't it? Yeah, that's extremely Ermansel. Yeah. But it just, it makes me think about like, if, if everything has already happened, right? Like, if the future is already set, because the sinner is waiting for us at the end of time, theoretically. That, that's what he said. Mm -hmm. That means there is an end to time. We're going to get there. But that also means that all of our choices must have already been made. Which means that we're witnessing a world in which we've already made all of the choices we are currently making. So to me, I'm just like, well, in that case, that means that A was already living in a world where this tree was already planted, but she just didn't remember it. So why didn't she remember it? Oh, samsara shit. Right. So like, there's, there's things like that where I don't know <laughs> if we're working with a timeline that loops or a timeline that's malleable or if the timeline's fixed and it's just memories that are malleable. And it kind of depends yeah. on, on what kind of time Genshin has, which is kind of why yeah. I wish Ruse was here to explain her time theories because she's <laughs> been um, knee deep in time. Um, the time no, yeah, like, it's... came out in Fontaine. I don't know if you saw it. Wait, what time? No, there, I haven't. I there's need a to new see book. This. It's called Time Trekker. It's being sold by the newsstand in Fontaine. Ooh, I, I need to go wait, get is that. Is it the newsstand in Fontaine? Yes, yeah, the newsstand in Fontaine. I think. Um, and uh, it's it's a it's a series about time travel, and it's really interesting because something in there like really screams light cones. And the light cone thing is really interesting because again, you can you can point to Star Rail with all its light cone shenanigans, right? But yeah. um, mm -hmm. also because the shape of a light cone is literally Deshret's pyramid. You've got 
time going in either direction on either side of you, the observer, which is represented by the eye right in the middle. Okay. So, like, that's kind of wild when you start to think about what he was trying to do, because he was trying to transcend yeah. that kind of thing, right? So, he and, was. And, anyway, there, there's, there's, like, a, there's he was a also whole, trying to bring someone back thing. to life, possibly. Right, but if everything's been predetermined, then theoretically right. you couldn't, right? Like, Skara couldn't kill himself because... Yeah. He already existed, right? Like, th like th there was all these sort of... Well, that might not be the reason, who knows? But, like, he couldn't do it. He could not change time. Mm -hmm. And it, I don't think it's just because he wasn't a god or didn't have the right powers or anything. I don't think that's quite what it was. Was it because he's not a descender? No, it's just but like then he, again... didn't, he didn't actually change anything, though. Like, nothing in time changed. Just no, people's yeah. people's memories of the time changed, right? Right, but that, yeah. But even, even when Nahida did her thing, she didn't change time either. She just made people no, she think didn't. that everything Ruka did, she did. She just yeah. reattributed, but that was with two noses, and she was a god. Yeah. So then, then, then things start to get a little weird. Anyway, time travel weird. I don't like time travel. If someone else wants to figure out all the time <laughs> shenanigans of Genshin, I will be happy to uh, point to them and not think about it myself. <laughs> yeah. Time is a it's a clusterfuck in this game. <laughs> I don't like it. No. The, par the parable of the tree is gonna haunt us for. Ages. Ages. Yeah. So many yeah. freaking ages. <laughs> ah, the king, thank you again for a super chat. You've been extremely <laughs> generous this chat. Holy cow. Uh, will Genshin end with a final cataclysmic war? Probably. Yes. <laughs> well, I don't think it's going to end with it. It's going, it's definitely going to be towards the end, though. Genshin Part 1 will end with it. Oh, we, yeah. we could probably agree on that one, right? Like yeah. Because like yeah, the, Everything's going to go to shit, yeah. Yeah, the to that story chapter will end with a big cataclysmic war where we end up breaking the eggshell of the world and then suddenly we're in space and, oh, hey, look, it's the Astral Express. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Leviathans who are coming to, like, destroy everything and eat the world or whatever. Did you know... That cows, mm -hmm. that, like cows, are actually um, land whales. What? Like in an evolution? Okay, well, yeah, in an evolutionary sense. Okay. I I, I don't know which direction I'm supposed to go. I, I'm doing this I, whole puzzle backwards. Don't ask me questions. <laughs> no, at at first I was so confused. I was like, "Where is she going with this?" No. Oh no no okay so well think about whales for a second. Like they're referred to as like bulls. And calves, mm -hmm. right? Like a, okay. a male whale is called a bull, and then the female whales or um. Called That's a, true, yeah. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah, a so cow. Like they, yeah. they have they have that in common. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is this not the first time you've brought the cow thing up? I talk about cows somebody said a lot. not this again. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, I talk about cows a weird amount. Um, I got a lot of cursed milk lore uh, and facts. I, I know a lot of really cursed that... facts about milk. <laughs> it's my, my secret oh, skill. God. My secret cursed skill. I'll go on America's Wait, Got where are Talent. You? I, I don't know. I'm up here. I'm up oh, here. I went the wrong way. I... Well, I don't know where I was going. I didn't know where you were. I just said, I'm going <laughs> to run this way. They'll find me. Well, probably no, not when you said cow, I was thinking of I was thinking of Norse mythology because you know Ymir. Well, no, but that's the thing. The... Think think about yeah. all the history we have of cosmic cows, right? Yeah. Well, cows are just land whales. So, like, if space is considered like the waters of heaven, then you know, you have space whales. I mean, there's so many times that in Honkai lore that also includes Genshin. I'm also including Genshin, so I guess the Hoyoverse, yes. Oh, yo, there's a lot of references to the starry sea and describing space as an ocean. I mean, there's in real mm -hmm. life that's the case too. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. probably where they got it. Yeah. Real life. I don't know where the simulacrum is. There must be one somewhere. Uh, maybe. Here, so, simmy, I, I simmy, no simmy, 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 simmy. Here, little bird brain. Oh, 
There's oh, a is, bunch it, of is he over here? Cones. Is this him? He's far away. Me. Hi. I think he's. Oh, oh wait, no. no. This is a different one. Is he the one in the cage down here? Yeah, he's probably in this cage. Wait, where are you? Oh, hi. I'm over here. Come back to the. Come back to the place. I'm a coming. Oh, you're coming that way. Okay. It's yeah, I think it's in here. <laughs> I guess we follow the trail of pine cones. Who left all these pine cones? Well, it must have been the squirrels that I killed. Oh. That wasn't Oh, really you killed them? Oh no. That, that wasn't a great way to show my gratitude for uh, this uh, little well... breadcrumb trail, was it? <laughs> uh Anyway. Someone's note. Mm. Woo the seventh. I wonder if he's related to Chang the ninth. Maybe. Speaking of the ninth, who do you Whoa. think? Uh, oh wait, are you starting? Oh, apparently Something? there's a whole quest to kill all these uh -uh, guys. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll help. Let's let's kill them all. <laughs> But yeah, no, okay, so cosmic whales, big thing, or sorry, cosmic cows are a big thing in mythology for some reason. Yeah. You know, I might change my weapon to make for more DPS-y, just for lulls. Do it. I'll kill this dude while you're doing that. Well, I, I can't do it in combat. Oh, well, good point. <laughs> oh, Gotta we're take still care in of combat. First. Yeah, there's still a dude here. I'm gonna... Tickle him to death. Oh, there's an explodable wall over here. We'll get there. I I don't have a whole lot of damage. Oh, okay. Coming can help oh, me. Oh, I'm coming. I'm a coming. Oh, dang it. That one got him right in the nuts. Okay, I'm... But I yes, guess I'm whales. Gonna, I'm gonna Big um, yeah, whales. Yeah, so like you were saying... um. Like Adhumla? Mm -hmm. Ad 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that Amir drank from, yeah. Yeah, like that. So, you know... Definitely a thing. I'm not gonna actually make her really dps -y. I just <laughs> wanted to make her a little dps -y so it's not stupid. Oh. Um... Yep, yeah. Let's see mm -hmm. if this kills God... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. My poor guy. I, I killed myself too, so I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, the rest of my phrase was going to be, let's see if this kills Gaming, because I was just going to use my burst and eye frame out of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then you were like, boom. <laughs> I Aww. saw something to explode, so I exploded it. I'm sorry. I can't blame you for that. I cannot blame you for that. Oh my god, that was funny. Hey, you give her like really basic damage dealing gear and she actually does really well. And because her buff scales on attack, like everything is still pretty good. Oh, Which is okay. such a weird thing for a healer. Like you could actually build her as a DPS. She's still a great healer. Um, You're sorry. like slowly convincing me to pull for her, but I can't. I have I'm to sorry. save my primo. Get her on a rerun. Get her on a rerun. Uh, oh, Windine. Good idea, yeah. Windine, thank you for the super. The question is, have you watched The Scrapped Princess? I think they're taking inspiration from that. One reason of many, there are things like the sustainer in it. I have never heard of The Scrapped Princess. Yeah, what is that? But I will never look it up heard really it. quick. Uh, I'm just going to read the wiki description really quick. Just so Oh, I was reminded of something that I said I need to talk to you about something lore related from that one quest oh. from that one npc in that one place i will be more specific in a second just go find your okay. thingy first i found the thingy <laughs> uh okay this was like a 1999 um comic it seems or a light novel it says uh da, 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 oh. da. Story takes place in what appears to be a fantasy world and revolves around a girl named Pacifica Castle, the sister and a pair of twins born to the royal family of a kingdom called Linwan. Pacifica is abandoned at birth. The 5111th Brendel prophecy predicts that she is the poison that will destroy the world, and if she reaches her 16th birthday, uh, to prevent this, she is dropped off a cliff as an instant. Oh. 
Oh. We're off to okay. a great start. Yeah. We're not going to okay. read the whole wow. thing because the whole thing's like really long, but like interesting. But I, I can already see the parallels though. I can see it. 24 you know. episodes might be something to fun to put on um, and listen to. Well, thanks yeah. for the recommendation. If nothing else, I don't have anything to say on it yet because I. I've obviously never heard of it until now, but I will yeah. go check it out. Now, what is it called again? The Scrap The Princess? Scrapped the what? Princess. I will send the you scrapped I'll, I'll princess. send you the link okay. to it over Discord so you can um so you can have it. All right, cool. Thanks. Yeah, it already sounds very relevant to Genshin. You know, it kind of is vaguely it sounds a little bit like the Legend of Saha. A who? Uh, one of Hoyo's very first titles that they worked on was called The Legend of Saha. It, it's very Genshin-ish. It, it feels like Proto Genshin if you read the summary. You're just like, uh -huh, yeah, I can see where they decided to get Genshin from here. Whoa. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't want to do this. This is a quest. Run away. Oh. Bye. Like, actually run away. I don't want to do this right now. <laughs> there, are, there are treasure hoarder allies over there, which is never a good sign. Oh. Wait, where are you? Okay, no, wait, I see you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was hiding. I, I didn't want them I'm to coming. find me. We're, we're going to have to go somewhere else because, like, I don't want them to find me. <laughs> I want to record the quest later. But I'm not being ridiculous, which might mean never. <laughs> but, um, no, I'll, I'll, I'll record it all. It's fine. Okay, what is this thing you were looking at? This this one character from one quest from that oh, one yes. place. So, so specific. So, um, Giaro, the NPC from Fontaine that you can find in Chaoying Village, uh -huh. the novelist. Um, I wanted. Okay, so I let me pull it up. Hold on, because okay, I, I want to hear you. what you have to. Yes, please do. Because I want to hear what because you so think tiny. about this one line that she says. Look, look, look. If I if I angle this correctly, Kazuha is standing on her boobs. Oh, damn. He moved. Wait, what? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I was doing like a leaning tower of Pisa thing. You know, like people stand in front of the leaning tower and they like put their hands up. So it looks like they're pushing it over. Oh. But you were standing over there and I just like Oops. I was tilting it. So it made it look like you were standing on her. Anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so Okay, carry wait, on. okay. Carry on. Carry so on. she talks about what her novel's um subject is about or the plot. And she says, "Let's see. It's about a cowardly detective and his fearless little sister mm -hmm. who's also acting as his assistant. Mm -hmm. They come across a crime museum which hosts within it the evidence for countless crimes." Uh-huh. Throughout the story, they also encounter missing twins, a mecha uh -huh. puppet that cries, and a museum curator who's been drowned in his fountain. And in the end, they find out that the prime suspect is none other than a child who just turned three years old. Uh, oh. Oh, I see mm -hmm. where you're going with that. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's very sus. It's very sus. That feels kind of like a Sumida type novel, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, Surumi Island. Um, Sumida, yeah, from Surumi one. Island, she said all that. Yeah. Like the yeah, super no, it sus does. stuff, and you're just like, wait, are you Alice in disguise? What the heck? <laughs> right, yeah, like, right. why do you know so much? <laughs> Who just turned three years old. Yep. Like Paimon! Yep. Also reminded me of the recent Fontaine Archon quest where we literally saw a dude get murdered from chicks in a fountain. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what happened. I don't know, like, and for, then it also... for whatever reason, for a split second, I was just like, baby chickens in a fountain? What? <laughs> I, I, I okay. just had a moment where I was like... Like hey, dead but... ladies. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I got it now. <laughs> I, yeah. Uh, I, I spent all my things. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. But the, yeah. Yeah, that, that line was super sus, especially about the missing twins. Um, And I was like, well, we technically do have another pair of twins in the game. 
Well, I mean, I mean, we have several pairs. Sorry, go ahead. We do? Well, I mean, like, um, Lenny and Lynette are a pair of twins. Yeah. But, like... What else do we have? I meant, like, yeah. But I mean, like, the Gnostic Chorus ones. Oh. Yeah, I guess if you count those as twins, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which, we, I, I know, yeah, we technically don't know if they are twins, but... Or even siblings, because all we know is that they're just first and second heir. I've never thought about but, that. But... Yeah. But I thought that was, I thought it was an interesting line. That is an interesting line in hindsight. It does kind of feel, you know what it feels like? What? I know exactly what this feels like. Do you remember in Kaya's story quest when he was talking about how his grandfather defeated like these three monsters and it sounded like Senora and like Dvalin and... Well, actually, <laughs> right? he mentions an eight-headed hydra, which... Oh, Sile, that was the other know one. There yeah, was yeah, a... yeah, 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 Right, but also we know that there was a war between the primordial one and eight dragons. A silver right. banshee, which silver to me reminds me of the moon. Banshee is literally a ghost dead lady, mm -hmm. which is interesting looking at the sustainer. And then an abyssal dragon. And now we know that Nibelung went to the abyss and came back with forbidden knowledge. That too. Still, same vibes. So that's... Same vibes. Yep. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you contextualized it that way for me, because like I, I would not have thought of it that way. Like I thought it was a weird yeah. thing, but I didn't think of it mm -hmm. in terms of that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's, it's just... It's it's like one of those things that gets sus as you continue in the game and they reveal more stuff. And then we tied her up. Yep. <laughs> Wait, where are you? Oh my gosh. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I keep sorry. losing sight of you. I'm sorry. I I know, it's <laughs> weird. I wanted to walk on water. I can do that too. I know. <laughs> well, I can float over water. There's only two places in the game where you can walk on water and it's here or in the Eternal Oasis. Oh, that's true. Unless you have Farina and then it's anywhere. Oh. Do you have Farina? True. I do, actually. I haven't leveled her up, though. Then or given her any water. artifact. Yay. Look at all the fishies. Look, it's more ghostly <gasps> simulacrums. They're like the Seelies of this region, to be honest. Except, yeah, we have. Do that. I made the. Oh, where are you going? going? I don't know. I'm ascending. Wait. Goodbye. Good luck. Goodbye. Thank you. I'll remember have you fun all in, in therapy. Oh, it took me to a squirrel. <laughs> I have meat. A squirrel? Ah, it took me to a squirrel. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> I wonder if anyone does this region with Yoimiya just for. Thematics. Oh, hi, Onion. What are you doing down there? Oh, hi. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I was looking at chat and then I didn't realize I was right next to you. Oh god. You were in no, the I ground. No, I saw Ruse. Oh, I was in the ground again. <laughs> oh. oh no, I just I saw Ruse say Kaya because that's a trigger word for her. It is. <laughs> it's okay. Ruse. Ruse knows. Yes. Ruse knows. I just oh, realized. Oh god! Oh thing, fuck! Oh god! Hang on. This this thing has like. Does he have magatamas on his belt? Oh no, they're skulls. On his Never belt. Mind. Oh. Whoops. They're skulls. Well, I. They look like magatamas. So. They I had do. A yeah. I had them. No, they kind of do. I mean, no, yeah, they they, kinda, they literally they do. do. I think they yeah. are. No, I literally think they are. You're right. They might be. Oh. Onion, do you need Wait, healing? I'm... I, yeah, I, I am about you. to die. Don't worry, I got you. <laughs> we, we can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I said this game wasn't hard? <laughs> it's still I do, not hard, and... but like sometimes I feel like, well, if it's not hard, I shouldn't die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I, I actively avoid the spiral abyss. Oh. Oh, speaking See, of the spiral I, abyss. No, go ahead, go ahead. I, I don't avoid the spiral abyss, but like ever since Kave was re released, he's been getting shit on. And so I've made oh. it a point to clear every abyss with him. 
um, since he came out. And last abyss, I cleared him with Sienyin in Cave Plunge. Completely oh. out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> Completely out of spite. Oh my That's gosh. Good it's fun. A little hard. Where does little this hard, go? But, uh, fun. How long did it take you to do it? Um, not that bad. It wasn't that bad. Hold on. I had to restart my, my chat app because it froze. There we go. I'm sitting there wondering, like, where the heck are... Like, there's no way there's, like, 800 people here and no one's talking. And, yeah, it's apparently... No, yeah, there's my a whole bunch froze. of people talking. No, my, my chat oh. froze. My chat froze. Ooh. And it just stopped moving. And I'm just like, what the hell? Oh. That's not right. Okay, Wait. there we go. That's better. Boreas Andreas also has three Magatamas on his neck. Yes, he does. He does. Technically, yeah, he does. Um, you know what's actually... also interesting? Oh. About his design? Where's the thing? What? Are you, you know how he wings? has... N well, no. I was going to talk about the little heart thingies. Um... You know, like he has those little... I don't know what to call them. The strips that extend from him, but they're like heart shaped. Oh, the little like catfish antenna. Yeah, those things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, what about him? I noticed that Kiana's Hersher of Finality form, like her little outfit in Honkai, has those same things. Oh, does it? But they're black. Yeah. Huh? Oh, I'll give that another look. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's interesting. Interesting indeed. Mm -hmm. Especially since Andreas may or may not have moon connections because wolves howling at the moon oh, and then there's literally... It says know. wolves are the children of the moon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, that was just like said straight up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and then he may or may not have met the first Which feeling, makes you wonder about the feeling? rift wolves, right? Huh? Yeah. Because, like, if, if wolves are the children of the moon, then does that not mean that the, the wolves... Wolf? Yeah, the rift wolves oh. are also the children of the moon? Like, corrupted Andreases that want revenge? But then there's also, like, that one entry that attributes their creation to Ryan Daughter, which is interesting. Yeah, she created by the, them by mistake, but, like, that also still yeah. begs the question, why was she trying to create those? Hold yeah. On. Let's move to a more interesting location. Let's Ooh, go okay. up here. Up. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Actually, this reminds me that transitional screen. So you know the icon for Chen Yu Veil, vale? how it's what? like yeah. the um the arch, whatever. What is that arch called? I forgot what it was called in the fucking jade quest. Mouth. Thank you. The jade mouth, and then it has the fish in the center. Mm -hmm. It reminded me of the Spiral Abyss just because the portal to the Spiral Abyss is also arch-shaped. And then I thought of Fischl the entire time I was doing <laughs> the world quest. <laughs> so, and her name means Little Fish. And she has like possible Conria connections slash Abyss connections. I that's all want I'm... you to talk to another Lorist. Oh. Uh, about a theory of theirs. Oh. Yeah. It's official theory. Ooh. I have official theory too. I'd oh, like to hear theirs. I shot the ruin guard and he woke up. <laughs> I think uh, that's what you're supposed to do. Like, you're supposed to shoot all those barrels. Oh, fuck. It targeted me. <laughs> ah, sh oh, okay. That didn't do much damage. Wait, is it dead? <laughs> no, this is stunned. <laughs> Why did it target me? <laughs> I'm not even so... doing the puzzle. I don't know. That was rude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I'd love to hear their theory on Fischl. Yes, you would. I think you'd really like it. Um... And for anybody who thinks I'm going to exclude them from this, no, I won't. I'll I'll help share it, and I will promote the crap out of it uh, when they are ready to share it. Um, it's still being written um, in a in a coherent mm. way. You know how like Loris yeah. will, will just have like this list of like random ass notes. 
and yep, nothing I makes sense. I got one right now. Yeah, just nothing yep. makes sense. It's like bullets here, a random screenshot here, and everything's completely out of context. Yeah. That's the stage it's in right now, more or less, and she's she's uh she's working on it. Um gotcha. it, it's very interesting, it's very good. I'm quite excited about it. Uh -huh. Okay. Um so yeah. Uh, but I, I really want you to read that one. Um, I'm really excited to share that one with you guys when the time comes. Mm -hmm. um, because I also have a complimentary theory for it, which is neat. Ah. Right. Well. Oh. Well, I, okay, then I won't I'm say anything. Oh, go ahead. Do it, 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 do it. Do it now. You want to hear the official shit? Do it now or face my okay. squirrely wrath. Fine. Also so, known as starting this puzzle without you prepared. All right. Oh, okay, so I guess this row. entire... The entire main quest of the Chen Yu Veil... The entire time all I could think about was Fischl. All I could think about was Isteroth. All I could think about was Paimon. Yeah. Paimon in particular because we fished her out of the sea. True, um, true. And her demon name also mentions that the demon can control fish, whatever that means, whatever significant that mean, significance that means. <laughs> um, but we also know that fish in general are important or should be important to Genshin because it also has to deal with King Solomon. If you've heard of a particular story revolving around King Solomon losing his throne mm -hmm. and then his ring. To Asmodeus or Asmodeus. Yes, Yes, and then he finds years. it in a fish. Yeah. yeah. But, um, well, first of all, I thought it was really interesting how this quest was just yet another example of us gathering the parts and power of a being so that they can do things, and then also having that being's power help us around the environment, which is kind of what we're what we're ultimately doing in like the overworld right we keep on going to statues of the seven to get more elements which help us in the overworld right mm -hmm. <laughs> um it's also interesting that they named this adeptus fujin which okay yes so i technically know it means floating brocade right i was, I was just about to say like because that th right. threw me off too i was just like wait why would you do yeah. such a thing venti's already called this Right, but like I also I I genuinely do think they also meant to reference Fujin, the Japanese god of wind. The reason is because again, I I get all these vibes from this quest being a parallel to things that we've already done before, like with Shiki Taisho. Um again, with like collecting parts for a being so that they can restore their own power. And especially in Shiki Taisho's case, that was getting his memories back so he could regain control over an entire domain. True. And I think that's interesting, especially if you think of, which I think you've said before, of to that being kind of like a domain. Yes. With a master. Dream space. Yeah, dream space. So that's really all I could think of um, as we were doing the Fujin quest. But how does this connect to Fischl? The interesting thing is, if you guys don't know Fischl lore, I don't know how much lore you guys know about Fischl, but she's definitely sus. There's a lot of parallels to the Travelers, like that Amy, like the four-star character Amy, because she's role-playing as Fischl. There's like a lot of similarities that she shares the character itself with the travelers, right? Being a traveler from afar or from another world. She, I believe in one of the events, she even mentions like a silver wheel of fate, which to me was really sus. Yes. Um. And her mother also yeah. says the dream lives on in Flowers for Princess Fischl. Right, the Kaiserin. And her yeah. mother's also dead, right? Which is interesting. Uh, I think and then so. it also well, we've never read the official book, so like I mean Right, maybe. but I think I think Flowers for Princess Fischl does say like her the Kaiserin like passed on already. Did it? And it mentions that her father, Fischl's father, the Kaiserin or the Kaiser, 
is no mere shade, which is so, so sus, <laughs> especially after Enkonomiya. Like, I think that's like its exact line, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, official lore isn't my specialty. Yeah, but like, and then there's also the Mitternox Waltz that directly references the Moon Sisters, or at least alludes to them. Basically, Fischl is a really sus character. So when we came to the Chenyu Vale and the main focus was an Adeptus who was focused or takes the form of a carp, of a fish, and not just any fish, but like a golden fish. And we all know how important the color gold is as well, right? Because the travelers are associated with gold. The sun is associated with gold. To me, I don't know. It's just all sus. And then I got also animo vibes as well, even though Fujin's... Technically, her element isn't animo. It's... What is her element? It's more like you hydro, have to do isn't these it? These really fast. Nope. I think so. Yeah. Do you need? Okay. Wait. I can help you. I don't think these need to be done really fast. I think. I think. Are they on a timer? Uh. Wait. I. Hmm. How did I? Because I feel like I did this puzzle. That's what I'm saying. I think I did do this puzzle. How did I do this? Oh, right here. Investigate this. Right here. And then I think rain <gasps> happens. Oh. Yeah. 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 And then you can hit this one. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Thank you. I didn't realize that was an investigation spot. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. But yes, Fischl, very suspicious, especially because she's connected to King Ermin. Yes. But like, also throughout this quest, if you noticed, Basically, Fujin took the place of the, um, I almost called them emissaries. What are they called? Why is the name Envoy. escaping me? The official, the what? Envoy. Yes, envoys. Thank you. The envoys of the heavens. Basically, she took the place. So I see that as a parallel as well to the Seelies. If the Seelies were, in fact, you know, the envoys of heaven, which it kind of seems like that. But you know what confuses me about that? What? Both in um, on Dragon Spine and here, the envoys are depicted as golden, and shouldn't they be silver if they're Seelies? I don't think it matters too much. I think the gold is just to denote important people because if, like, you look at the one mural with the chasm people, yeah, right? like some of them are gold and some of them are green. Okay, like, yeah, that's true. So, oh shit, that thing is about to... Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, there's a lot of them. I didn't realize there were this many. Oh, crap. Sorry to interrupt your train of thought, but go it's ahead. It's okay, my train of thought definitely got interrupted. <laughs> but not necessarily by you. I, I thought we were done, and then a bunch of these things came up and uh, decided we weren't done, so... <laughs> You know, but OK, so part of the reason why I say that, though, like, shouldn't they be silver instead of golden is because Lilupar was depicted correctly on her mural in Deshret's ruins. Yeah, but she was and also she was... like a queen and also not an envoy. Right, but she was a jinn, which are the descendants of the Seelie. Yes. And she was depicted with blue and silver. Meanwhile, Ormaz was golden. So that that's what confuses me. I'm like, shouldn't they be silver? I think it's more like a rank. Okay. Right? Like Ormaz was mm -hmm. king, Lilopar was a queen. But like, I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know if I'm super hung up on color for it. Okay. If only because, like, what does that say about the Surumi Island murals then? Because those are only in black or gold. Like, there's, there is no silver as a color. You know what I mean? 
Well, okay, yeah, true. So I, I guess my question is more like the ones here in Chenyu Vale have color, but they none do. of the other ones do. Like they're all basically black and stone and gold. Right. So I don't know if that's because they just didn't want to infuse it with silver or, you know, you know hmm. that, that's why I'm kind of like, I don't know what to make of it. Yeah, I don't, it just bothers me. Yeah. It just makes me think that silver is actually gold. But I mean, like, they're interchangeable anyway. So, yeah, you, I think you're right. It probably doesn't matter because they are, I think, gold and silver. And then what was the other color? Black? You remember yeah. that Melazine quest where they were, like, talking about the colors, gold, silver, and then black being basically the same thing? No. <laughs> No, it was, okay, there was an NPC, there was this dialogue where they were talking about it <laughs> in the sorry. Melazine village. Oh gosh, no, it's okay. I, I know, because I'm not being very specific, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll try to find it, but it's basically this dialogue where they talk about gold, silver, gold being like the sun, silver being like the moon, and then black, which I think is honestly supposed to reference like the black sun, kind of like what Deshret is or was, or turned into. I'll I thought have to find it was it. referencing alchemy with the uh, Nigrido, Albedo, Rubido, and Citrinitas. I mean, it might have been, too, as well, yeah. But I mean, like, that's just where my mind went. I went I immediately see. to, like, characters in the game. I didn't mean to jump off the side of the mountain. Um, I was just like, where did you go? And don't then, don't, uh, don't ask questions. You, the, the answers are kind of... <laughs> Wait, you just... You literally just blipped out of existence. Where did you... I warped behind oh, you. Oh, did you tell... Oh, okay. I was like, I'm Wait. right behind you. <laughs> you teleported. I was like, oh my god. Am I going crazy? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Everett Monroe, thanks for the super. Uh, in the Stellar Moments Volume 4, the thumbnail is a picture of Aether, Paimon, and Lumine sleeping. Oh my god, I saw that. I love it. Uh, do you think the Sumeru Archon quest is a hint towards Tevat being a dream? Yes! But I kind of feel like it's a dream that overlaps with reality. That's, yeah, that's what I think. I don't think everything is, like, fake. I think it's like the dream is trying to manifest itself in reality in a way. Yeah. Or like Especially after um the the recent quest we had with um Thelxy. Not Thelxy. Yeah, Thelxy. The penguin. Yeah. Like with fantasies and then reality overlapping. Yeah. I don't know where the music is coming from. Run in the opposite direction. They can't catch us forever. Ooh. Wait, that didn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, I 100% I agree. Like the, the, there's, there's a lot of theories in psychology and physics that say that reality isn't real. <laughs> Basically because right. The whole world just exists in your mind. Like, you can't actually experience you the real world except through the shell of your body. So it's almost impossible to say that anything is real at all. So I kind of think yeah. that, like, they're they're kind of allegorically referencing things like that when they, you know, make the focus of the game around vision and the eyes of a god, right? Or the observer or the center of a light cone or... You know, those sorts of things. So yeah. I, I think that's probably one of the things they're referencing. I also think that um, Ermensoul is one of the ways that they kind of project a collective dream onto reality. Yeah. And I honestly think like the Descender or a Descender is probably what ends up becoming the will that projects the dream. Yeah. I agree. But In yeah. some way, shape, or form, like, you have to have something 
that anchors the dream. And I do think that, like, if you're a descender, that's probably, you know. What you're able to do, like yeah. your function. You yeah. Know. I also kind of think they played on that whole reality is basically your perspective in what was it called again when we went to the bottom of the chasm and time was different for everyone oh yeah like the relative time thing yeah yeah oh i hate these i it's, fucking hate it's like these the perception right yeah This puzzle is so annoying. I'm like on the wrong. <laughs> oh wow! I did not realize you. That could is actually, that like, is not. Rotate it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that that doesn't look right. Uh... That, that's that's not correct. <laughs> oh my god, the controls are like kind of right. Like how psychosis affects perception of reality, right? I mean, yeah, we saw that again, like in the Thalxy event. Yeah. With, yeah. What the? There were a lot of nods to that. That is not how this is supposed to go. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think like when you it get it, here. it like, yeah. It, like when you get it, it locks in place yeah. like that. Yeah. All right. Let, um, I, let's find the last piece, wherever the heck it is. Wait, this one's not positioned correctly. Right here. What, the one on the right? It wouldn't let me pick it up. Yeah. Oh. What, what oh. do you mean I can pick it up from here, but I couldn't pick it up when I was right next to it? <laughs> oh, wow. You're all the way over. What Jesus. The... Oh. You are all the way back there. Goodness. Uh... Whoops. Oh. Uh... You accidentally picked up the the little simulacrum. I, I... Okay. Well, I was just trying to place the thing, and it didn't want to place. So. Okay, well, it. I don't think it wants to live here. Mm -hmm. Unless it wants to go the other direction. Can, can you let me pick you up? <laughs> oh, you Ill did it. Ill defensive wall. I overcame my struggles. Oh. Now we have to kill this thing. Yes. Victory shall be mine. Nom, 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 wah. Nom, 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 Where are these? I shoot dice missiles. Yelon is so strange. Yelon? Oh, you are playing as her. I didn't even realize you switched. <laughs> I was I was using her for an <laughs> archery puzzle, and then I kind of left her. Uh... Dice missiles. Thistles. <laughs> oh my god, my chat froze again. Hold on. What do you think the Tsuritsa's plan is? Oh my goodness. That's a question. I think the well, Tsuritsa wants to be Utena. To be who? Utena! Use a magic sword. Revitalize the world. Sorry. Revolutionize uh... the world. Right? Because, like, remember that whole yeah. thing with the Arts and Courts Institute? They're just like, oh, yeah, like the sword of reason can be anything but like there's special meaning mm -hmm. in it being a sword and then yeah. we've got this whole thing about like swords of descenders and you know like mm -hmm. that kind of stuff and i'm just like well i i think the saritza is like trying to be a descender by gathering the remains of a previous descender yeah to craft their own sword of reason because like if anything like the the one thing we could probably assume is that the Gnosis in their current form don't have any form of sentience. They're just raw power. Yeah. And I don't know if, like, if you did put them all together, if they would regain their sentience, or if they could be controlled. Right? So if she could control yeah. it, would that not be very interesting? Mm-hmm. Because, you know... A will to rival the world. Rene tried to make himself into a descender by using that stupid sword. Yeah. So. Sorry, I was. It also made me think official again because I was just. 
<laughs> Everything <Sorry. laughs> makes me think official. Well, just because um, if you remember in her quest, her quest, her um, domain, official's domain on the Golden Apple Archipelago. I was just about to say. And yeah. the Twilight Theater stuff. Yep, I remember. Like that play focused a lot. Like even the quest names were focusing a lot on her sword. Oh, I hadn't thought it of that. It was sus. Yeah, it was really, you might want to go back and look just like skim it over or whatever, but yeah, it's yeah, yeah. especially sus, like, especially now that we have context about Nibelung and that quest mentions a dragon being the enemy. That eats dreams too. That eats dreams, yeah. Makes it sound like she's the fucking descender, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't comment on that. Yeah, we'll, we'll just leave that there. Official's not really my area of expertise, um, mostly because one of my good friends is writing a very in-depth uh, theory about her. So, like, I'm just like, I'm gonna leave that. To, All right, then. No more official. You know. No more official talk, then. <laughs> but she is will, very interesting, and I do think there's a lot of reason yeah. for her to exist as a character and for her to have a mm -hmm. name that is so. Let me let me let me let me let me run something past you, okay? Okay. Uh, actually, hold hold that thought. I need to look something up before I say say the thing. Okay. But I'm also in the middle of a puzzle, so give me give me a second <laughs> to not be in the middle of a puzzle, and then I will go look up the thing super quick, and then I will say the thing. Um. Okay. But I I think there is a lot of meaning behind her having a demon name, but also not being a demon, like the character mm -hmm. official, not the book character official. Like our, our yeah, visual. yeah. The Amy. Oh. Okay. I got a cup. A cup. Yeah, no treasure, just a cup. Oh. My. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, I'm going to drink water from this crystal clear stream and get Giardia. Oh, please don't. <laughs> it's okay. It doesn't last that long. Oh no. Not that bad. Okay, I got I got I got to go look up. I got to look up the thing. I got to look up the thing. But I, there's things to break. I got to Okay, I'm going to I'm going to look up thing. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I got to look up something. Go 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 um... go go go. Wait, while you do that, I'll answer a okay. question that I saw in chat. Wait. That I lost. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. No, here it is. Is it possible that the sinner is some sort of collective consciousness? Yes. Oh, I think so that's the it goes, of a doubt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It kind of goes back to what I was saying earlier about the parallels I was drawing between Baiju's story quest and then the sinner, where Baiju was talking about the mother load of god remains having a connection to pretty much the other god remains that weren't near it, but were out in the world. I think the center might be that and might form a web of a collective consciousness. Also, it would also make sense if the center is like King Deshret, which I think he probably is, in that King Deshret made a golden dream that was about a collective consciousness hive mind thing. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> Um, okay, so I was... We found it. Oh, I can't do this in co-op. Later! I gotta, I, I'll just mark it. This is I can't do it in co-op. Like, I actually physically can't. Um, yeah, okay, oh. so, so the thing about Amy is, like, yes, Amy is a demon in the Ars Goetia, but I got thinking the other mm -hmm. day that it might actually not be Amy. Like, I think... Official, the one we can play as. I think that one's name is Amy in reference to a demon to kind of mm -hmm. nudge us in the right direction. But I wonder sure. if the real Fischl's demon name would have been more like um, a Maimon. Wait, do I, I have a feeling? You said, oh, who? A Maimon? A Maimon. Yeah, because a Maimon is um, also a prince of hell, um, but he's the one who can control Asmodee. 
and Asmodee is the <laughs> sustainer, right? Yeah. So you can kind of see, I, like, yeah. the thought process. <laughs> I had, I had I to make sure that I remember do. that right. I kind of feel like your friend, your lore friend, and I might have a similar I'm thought gonna process when it comes up. to official. I'm gonna yeah. look well, I, I but no, I, I get what you're saying. I would be very surprised if you did, but um. Ah. Yeah, I'd be very surprised if you did, but 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 I think I think you still might be on the same wavelength anyway. Right. Well, yeah, interesting. I think yeah, I think I get, I get what you're saying. There's a thingy. Let's go get the thingy. And I I yeah, I want to say more, but I. I'm not going to. I know. It, it's hard sometimes because, like, the things you're most excited about are, like, the things that you're going to make a video on. And then if you talk about them all now, then there's not really a surprise. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. You got to yep. keep some of them there for the surprise. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <gasps> but no, that would be an interesting demon name and very fitting, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I also think it's interesting that it sounds so similar to Ammon. Mm-hmm. Which was Deshret's demon name, yeah. And mm -hmm. Ammon kind of sounds like Ermin. Ammon, Ermin, Ammon, Ermin, um. Ammon, Ermin, and Fischl is the son of Ermin. Mm -hmm. Well, wait, no. Fischl's a girl. Wait, daughter. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to say, wait, the son? I, I'm still, I've got like sun <laughs> on my brain, as in like light sun stars. Yeah. Don't yeah. Anyway, but like, don't hat that me. has interesting. <laughs> that has interesting implications for Ermin, though. But I mean, like I've already like I talked about in my center video, video that I think he's he's basically like the travelers. I think you've talked about that too. Yes, I have a mm -hmm. new theory to flesh it out. Oh lord, I have a new theory to flesh it out. Um. Oh and God. and if and if anyone's mad about it, they can blame Renee. Everything is Renee's fault. <laughs> mm, Everything okay. is Renee's fault. Because I I definitely I saw Conria parallels in the Narcissus and Kreutz. Oh, there's stuff. lots. There's lots. Yeah. And yeah, with yeah. Narcissus and Kreutz himself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that that quest is hinting at. Yeah. There's so much, like so mm -hmm. much, and mm -hmm. I honestly like sometimes don't even know where to start. Okay, there's there's a a thing oh, that keeps the... showing up, like one of the fishy things. What thing? The fishy, what things. fishy things. The fishy things. Like it should be right here, but I don't know like the elevation. I don't know if oh. it's up or. If oh, it's I was down. trying to find this the other day. It's not down. Like, I tried looking in the cave because it took me to the cave where the mural is or one of the murals is, but it well, wasn't in there. It can't be up because there's nothing up there. I have, I don't know. It might be too high for us to see. That's possible. But, but if that's the case, how do you, how do you get to what it? What if it's in this cave, though? Oh, no. There it is. I see it. Wait, where? Where I just are can't you? get in it. I don't know how to get in the other side of this cave. Oh. Or how to unlock this one. Oh, uh, okay, wait. It's in there, though. You can see it. Oh, wait, this is where we were earlier. Yeah, it yeah. is. This is where it is. It's in there. Oh, wait, no. I can take you. I think I know, I think I know how to open this. Oh, yeah. Where do you go? But we're going to have to, like, teleport across the map because what so okay so you see mount ming yuan on the map uh yes go to the southernmost teleport point on it i think the one oh okay like I see right where, where i am I yeah do we and think then we'll find do... the electro dragon with you okay hold on yeah go ahead go ahead keep going oh. keep going there's an electro dragon question i want to i want to do a thing Oh, I was just going to say, do this puzzle right here. And <gasps> I think it'll open a portal to, like, Aww, take you yeah. over there. Okay, we'll do that. Sorry, I've been I've been really neglecting chat. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, Icy yeah, sorry, Hyena. Cat. Is the sinner's sin ever mentioned in-game until now? Not to my knowledge. He's just called nope. the sinner. Yep. 
Um, and I think that's all we know. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go there. I, one goes there. I want to say something, but it's a theory, so I'm not... Like, it's a theory that I'm going to put in a video, so I'm not... Oh, okay. Because I think I know what the sin might have been. Ooh, go. I don't. Wait, where did this guy away? come from? He just, he's just... Away? He's running away. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, then. I don't know where yeah. the pieces are. I don't see them. I'm going to kill this random treasure hoarder. Well, that's very kind of you. Oh, here's one. I know. Oh, I can't pick this one up. Never mind. Wait, yes, I can. Just not from that side, apparently. Woo! There. I think this will take us to the place. So does that mean you got the other one? Or... There was one on a mountain that I couldn't get to. I'm not quite sure if it's that one, though. Now. Um... Because I've done this puzzle, so I must have gotten it. Maybe I didn't grab it. And then this here. Okay, well, I had baited something. <laughs> Do you think it's sus that Paimon compares Deshra's mausoleum to Decarabian's tower? Not at all. Not really, because they should be the same kind of god. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what I'm thinking, too. Yeah. Aw, damn. Whoa. Wait, okay, we should probably explain that, though. So, like... <laughs> so, okay, so... If if you guys notice, there are particular sets of gods in this game that have very similar themes. Mm -hmm. So, if you look at... Um, oh, that reminds let's me. Let's use... For example, gods that build walls to keep something out. There's a theme of that. Decarabian did that. A did that as well. But if you think about Deshret, all of his sun imagery, his relationship with the goddess of flowers or lack thereof. Depends um, on how you interpret it, yeah. It yeah, depends on how it, you interpret it. That's it. a weird one, for sure. Yeah. If if it's really supposed to be like Otto and Colin, then it's unrequited love. Yeah, I think I think it's fair to just call them like uh, gods that just really cared about each other. But I don't think you really need to put a label on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, like, that works. Well, the reality was that Colin <laughs> always cared about Otto, and Otto always cared about Colin. It was just different, but like it didn't really yeah, change. Was... You know, it didn't really yeah. change that they cared. Yeah. So, I, if, right, it depends on how you view the Deshret goddess of flowers situation, but whatever. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. there's a theme of, I guess, unrequited love with Deshret. There's also that theme with Decarabian between um, him and what is her name? Amos? Amos? Yeah. Amos. Amos. Yeah. Amos if you notice, Amos. actually. Yeah, because we got a we got a glimpse of her design too yep. in that short, and she has like silver hair. Mm -hmm. Her bow is also colored blue and white and purple, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a lot of these colors have well, we, what we think have association with the Seelies. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And Deshret was, you know, his choice of love was a Seely. He had a Seely. So I think, right. So I think when you break it down into themes, there are very specific gods. Zhang Li also might have had a Sili, depending on what you think of yeah, Gui Zhang. Yeah, Gui Zhang. Yeah. She might have been. No, a she Sili. definitely has Sili vibes. She does mm -hmm. have Sili vibes. Like we we all she but really have does, explicit yeah. confirmation that she would have been a Sili. Yeah. Like she has all of the hallmarks of one. She just yeah. doesn't have the name. The thing is, what they do Yet. a lot in the game in this game as well, they just do like parallels yeah so like they may not be a seely but they're referencing it yeah whichever or it referencing is. one yeah the repetition but, of themes and narratives yes 
But in terms of uh, Dash Red as well, there's the theme of ruining your own kingdom with forbidden knowledge. Yeah, all the god kings kind of destroyed their own kingdoms. They did, yeah. Except Johnny. We don't know about Decarabian destroying his kingdom with well, forbidden knowledge. He just, not he's just a tyrant. Not with forbidden knowledge, but like, in general, they... they... <laughs> yeah, was... the general theme. Yeah, the general uh -oh. theme is like, the, the gods themselves were the reason for the downfall of their own kingdom. Right. And, which is interesting because Remus also has a whole bunch of these themes. Yep. So... Hopefully we'll get to go to Capitolium at some point. Oh, but, I'm waiting for Petrichor like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, like I'm, I'm really hoping we get to go, but which it would be weird if we didn't. What is this? I don't know. Oh. But there are people. Okay. Hi, They're people. They're just randomly standing How you doing? here. Is this for a quest? Probably. Let us depart. But anyway, yeah. Sorry, but you could explain too. Like, that was just from my perspective, but. I forgot what the question was. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I did too. It was about. I'm sorry. I think, oh, it was about something of Dashred's mausoleum being compared to Decarabian's tower. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And then there is the other one in, um, in, uh, 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 Rumi. Oh, which one? It's underground. It's another observatory. It uses the same model as uh, the Arabians. Oh, oh, okay. Interesting. And then there's another one in Liyue that uses the same model as well. Ooh. And in theory, there should have mixing... been one in the Golden Apple Archipelago for Mona's. That should have been the Star Latitudes domain. Should have been um, a tower. Oh, I remember similar. you mentioned that in that in one of your videos. Yeah. Yeah. That, well, it should have been the same model, I think. Um, but it was like all crumbled and stuff. But whatever. Uh, oh. Yeah. So, um, what was I gonna say? Oh. Wait, where are you? I wanted to show something so you know yeah. you guys know my desperate video or not my desperate video oh my god my zhongli video i was talking about i was talking about uh like the the witches the witches knot and the bowen cross or the quincunks depending on how you want to look at it um and i could not for the life of me figure out where the heck the other um the other uh, uh, quincunk symbols were in Mondstadt, and I found it. Well, I didn't find it. Um, Crystal Marie found it. Um, she's a she's a another lorist on my Discord, and if you look here <laughs> on the back <laughs> of sacrificial fragments, you'll see it. There's a there's a quincunx right there. On the back. Wait, really? Yeah, look at it. All right, Leah, let me look at it. Weapons. Sacrificial fragments. And there's a wheel on the other side, inside of the egg. If you are presently unoccupied, perhaps we could stop a while at once of those who send this. Wait, hold up. Okay, I'm looking at it. Joshua, how do you join the Discord? Um, there's instructions on the community tab on YouTube, but like essentially, uh, once you have a YouTube membership, which you do, I can see it marked on your thing. Um you open up Discord, you go to Settings Integrations, I think is where it is. And then you should see um, my server pop up. And you can just click Join, and it'll let you join. Wait, where? Wait, is it, in, is it on the unascended version? It's on the ascended. Uh, yes. I'm looking at an oh. unascended version. Oh, okay. Wait, okay, let me go. I, I have a lot of them. Let me go see if I have one. I have an ascended one too somewhere. Well, at least I thought I did. Oh, maybe I don't. Has Sucrose been using a level twenty sacrificial fragment since the start of the game? <laughs> <laughs> I think she has. Oh, well, that's super funny. Wait, and you you've been using her in like official <laughs> team and stuff? Oh yeah, here it is. I see it. Yeah, I see what you're talking oh, about. Oh, it's funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I thought that was cool. Cause uh 
yeah, I don't know if you guys know the lore of the um, sacrificial fragments, but um, I forget. How to, I never go in here through. I never go to the weapon lore through the that screen. I don't even know if you can. Um, uh, details. Oh yeah, you can. It's just under. Just nested for some reason. Um, yeah, so this this uh, Sacrificial Fragments talks about Mondstadt lore. It's like the war between uh, Decarabian and Andreas. You know what's interesting that I just noticed? Hmm? Also on this book. Keep so if you look at the up. cover, you know the wheel? Yeah. But when you ascend it, it Turns becomes a, a sun. Oh, well, yes, on the other side it becomes but like, a rose. I think. But like... I forget. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Crystal Moody so, like, showed up. Well, look that's at funny. the summoner. <laughs> <laughs> if you have an ascended version, it kind of looks like. I don't, but I could probably ascend. One. Oh, do it. Or look it up online. I don't know, but it kind of looks like well, number one, material. Venti's little thingy. It looks like Venti's little chest piece on his god form. Uh huh. But this also kind of looks like a sun, yeah. which is interesting because there's a whole theme about a wheel representing the sun. So I think that's interesting that on the unascended version, it's a wheel. Sun wheel. And then it turns into, yeah. But indeed, it also, indeed. if this is about Decarabian, it may further <laughs> Push him towards increase the sun Decarabian. Sun. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing, though. Like, you start looking for the stuff and you go, wait a second. Wait. Oh, I found this Ely for you. Oh, I gotta get out of my menus. <laughs> oh. It's by these hilly churls that want to kill us, but let's kill them. I just, oh, just thank gonna... you, Crystal Marie. You, you like tagged me on Twitter to the picture of the sacrificial Oh, fragments. good, good, good. Good, good, yes. Yes. But yes, I see what you're talking about. Like, what are they called? Quinn Crux? Quinn? Quinn, Quinn... Crux or a Bowen Crux. Um, they've got a, a lot of different names. Oh, okay. Um, but they're also similar Those to a Witch is Not free. and all that kind of stuff. So so there's there's some ah. interesting like symbolism that they're, you can tell that they're trying to push. Yeah. To what ends, I do not know. Look at the Sealy statue. It revives itself. Little baby oh, yeah. owls. <laughs> but I mean, I remember you talking about um, Nicole and D. Luke stuff. Ah. So I find that the witches' references in this Mondstadt-related item is cool. But then again, this is all over the game too, right? It is. It is. It's um. Yes. It's in a lot of locations. Which is kind of the point, though. Like, it's it's everywhere. Yeah. I don't know where the ceiling is. At went. first? I lost oh, it's up in the air. It's, like, right here. Oh, uh, there he is. Yeah. I fell. At and... first, I thought it was, like, a reference to the primordial one and the shades. Yeah. But I don't know, just because it's five. I could see that. Yeah. But then it gets but, complicated. I mean, it, it shows up. Yeah, because, like, it's everywhere, and it's on Zhang Li, too. Right. Isn't it on his back? It is. Oh, okay. What? I'm gonna have to remember this spot, because I don't think I've done this area. All sorts of rocks in these holes. Kill them. I love juggling This is them a pretty... <laughs> yeah, they're funny. <laughs> This is a pretty picture of Fontaine, actually. I might have to come it back really here. It really is. Like, it's just gorgeous. Oh, Spike Bebop! Thank you so much for the super! Uh, do you think we will get some Natlin lore in version 4.5 or 4.6? Ah, Natlin lore. I haven't even wrapped my head around Sumeru, to be honest. <laughs> I'm still catching up like on Fontaine. I... And obviously yeah. retracing my steps to Liwe. This thing's leaving Mora mm -hmm. behind for me. Funny. Um, oh, interesting. 
But like, will we get any? I, okay, I'm really skeptical we're going to net them next at this point. Like, there's something wrong oh, really? with the way that we're getting Natlin lore. As in, we're just not getting any. Like, we'd already had a ton oh, of Fontaine was this based on like, Yeah. And barely At anything not related until now. Yeah. We don't even have anything, Natlin. We've got nothing. What, like, what do, what do we have? Other than, like, some weapon lore, right? And then... Yeah, we've, we've basically Wasn't, like, got a character the... introduced... Uh, Not introduced, but like referenced in Nouvellet's character. Oh, is um, Nouvellet? When they tweeted it out. Yeah, yeah that thing. Okay, yeah, so, that person. So we have the name of two characters, namely that one whose name I actually haven't looked up how to pronounce, so I won't, um, I won't, uh, <laughs> I won't subject anyone to that, uh, attempt at pronunciation. <laughs> um, so we know the name of that character and we know the name of Yansen who was in travail but like other than that we don't really have anything which is frustrating well, well okay we've got and the then talking Leiden stick. didn't say shit that's the thing that oh, gets me true. the most like we've got the talking stick but like Leiden didn't say anything instead he's just like yeah so the stars are nice tonight I, okay I'm obviously but and he's like in a like, hole or something no, yeah. Yeah, he fell into a hole where he didn't get hungry, and the last time he didn't get, like, we didn't get hungry when we fell into a hole was in the chasm back in 2.7. Oh my god, are we going to Conria? That's why I was like, wait a second. Uh... Because Conria didn't have, like, a numbered, like, its act is not numbered, right? So it could right. potentially yeah. appear at any point. Theory, yeah. That's interesting. Staying. So wait, do you think we're gonna go to Conria or and not? I don't not, know if not we're long? going to Conria, but like I'm, I'm really wondering if we are going to Natlin. Yeah. Like there's, Interesting. it's just so strange that we haven't heard anything, and I can't yeah, we, fathom as to why. Like the things we know about Natlin, there's fighting competitions, a bunch of tribes are at war with each other, they have hot springs. Uh, dragons, dragons live stuff. in somewhat harmony with humans. Which is kind of confusing if you think about Vanessa's lore and her tribe being chased out by a dragon. Right. So, Wait. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's weird, right? Like, it's weird. Yeah. The whole thing's a little odd. I, I don't know when we're getting Natlin lore, but like at the latest, we, we have to get some at 4.8 because 4.8 is the like preview patch for the next region. So if there's nothing in 4.8, we're not going to Natlin. Maybe we'll go to Celestia. Wow. Maybe we'll have like a whole interlude patch where we go to the Spiral Abyss or maybe we go to like the old remnants of Conria. Like, I don't know. Maybe we're going somewhere. But like yeah. when we were in the chasm and we didn't get hungry, we were in a hole. Um, we did. We were. We did have this uh, point in time in that chasm where we were looking up at a starry sky, and we were just like, "Is this the abyss?" Yeah. Or this feels like the abyss, or whatever. So, like, are are we just going underground? I don't know. Where I really don't are know. you? Where am I? Are you in, in the air? Time or in life? Because those are two... I guess all of the above, but I mean in a more immediate sense, where is your character in this goddamn game? Aren't I marked on the map? Yes, but I cannot see you. Oh, you're below. Okay. Okay, here you are. Really I thought you were in the these. sky. Well, I was, and then I wasn't. Oh. oh my god, there are more. I suck. I, I hate I hate aimed shot puzzles. I'm not good at them. Yeah. Neither am I. Oh, fuck. I did my ultimate accidentally. Oh, it's pretty. It is. <laughs> Kazuha, has, Kazuha has one of the... You know what's interesting about Kazuha? I think he has ermine ties. Oh, yeah? Ermine parallels. That would yeah. be the first time I've heard of that, if that's true. So, mm -hmm. explain, mm -hmm. sir. Explain. 
Well, it ties into my theory about Ermin and why he ended up in the Abyss and why he ended up founding Conria. Mm -hmm. I won't explain why, but I think he was a traitor to the Primordial One. I see. The interesting thing about Kazuha in particular, I'm thinking back to the Kasen event, the five Kasen event, mm -hmm. and how in the story he represented Akahito, right? The one who Which was means framed? Scarlet person who was framed. And his color is also Scarlet, which Deshret is associated specifically with the color red and Scarlet. So that made me think about Ermin. I, I, I don't know. I'm not. I I have to explain it in a video though. I see where you're going. And then with also, it. right. And then also, Kazuha has a somewhat of a connection with the Electro Element through his friend. Um, why is that important for King Ermin? Well, in terms of Deshret, you know how um, how the devs released those three videos or not. Yeah. Those three videos talking about Sumeru before it came out. Right. And yeah. they were talking about how the elements interact with each other, specifically electro dendro and hydro. Yeah. And how they each represented something thematically within Sumeru. Then we got to learn about Deshret, Rukadevada, and then the Goddess of Flowers, Nabumali Kata. And each of them should represent each of those elements, right? So we know Nabumali Kata was Hydro, Ruka was Dendro, which leaves Electro for specifically Deshret, right? Yeah. And then also, if you recall in Fon yeah, in the Nartis and Kreutz world quest with the root cycle stuff, um, how those correspond to the prayers artifact set. Oh, I heard that theory, yeah. Yeah. Well, the one that specifically revolves around Conria, the Karun Aria, that sounds really close to Conria. Mm-hmm. Um, that one specifically relates to the Electro Prayers artifact set. Mm-hmm. Your process of elimination, so I was like, okay. if nothing else. Right. So I was like, okay, well, maybe Ermin is represented by the Electro element in some way. And then if you also think about Beto, who... Well, first of all... Oh, this is so hard. <laughs> Explain without like just going right into it. <laughs> but we talked about earlier how Kaya mentioned his grandfather, right? Yep. He's like a pirate yep. in, you know, a uh, allegorical sense. Well, if you think about in terms of Kazuha and Beto with the whole pirate theme, how they also are the ones that lead us through a storm into a country that is, you know, that was surrounded by a huge storm caused by its Archon that was blocking everybody out. Mm -hmm. to a port town that if you look at the description for the port town, there's like a lot of odd similarities to the way Conria is described as this place that's bustling of achievement, but that can be, I can't, I can't remember what it specifically says. I don't know. Okay. Again, it's very difficult to explain without just going right into it. I see the vision. I see the vision. Okay. But what what was even the prompt? What what even got beyond this discussion? I can't even remember. Uh um, I don't recall. I I don't remember I don't either. Recall. Uh, just ignore my brain oh, rod, oh, everybody. Oh, oh, just ignore. Oh, 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 I remember. I remember. They're asking about Natlin lore and if we're going to go to Natlin and where we're going to get lore and that kind of stuff. And then I said, well, maybe we're not going to Natlin at all. And then we got on Conria and now we're on this. Okay. Well. Yes? There you go. Did I remember? Sure. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, and then I randomly talked about Kazuha and how he might have Desh, not Deshra, yeah. but Ermin ties gotcha, gotcha, from a thematic gotcha. standpoint. That but yeah, sense. anyway. No, I follow. But it would require me to go. Okay. The interesting thing about that, but... though, is Akihito was, or not Akihito. Oh, no, it was Akihito, wasn't it? Yeah, um, it was Akihito. Akihito yeah. wasn't actually the traitor in the end. He wasn't, no. It was the he black one. Yeah. But at the end of the quest, Deshred is black. Well, not, sorry, not at the end of the quest. Yeah. At the end of um, his story, like before he, he sealed away, he is a black star. Yeah, he becomes a black sun. Yeah. Which is interesting. But it's also more interesting if we put this another way, because um, you could technically say that Deshret was also green. Because most people will agree yeah. with you oh. that, um, or most people will agree that Al Haytham has a lot of desperate imagery, and he is a hundred percent green. And then I say Kabe has a lot of desperate imagery, but he is basically all red. Yeah. So now we got red, green, and, and black. there's also. Yeah, and there's also like Deshret being quote unquote a master of all elements. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and going back to the crystal fly conversation about how all crystal flies look like animal crystal flies at their core. So it means maybe animal is like the representation of all of the elements. And it's green. I'm so happy we got a waterfall cave in, in Chen Yu Vale. Can I, can I just say? A waterfall cave? <laughs> yeah, like this. You see the waterfall cave? Oh, yeah, for the quest. I remember we had to go in there. I, that that was going to be like my here? one thing. Like if we didn't have a waterfall cave, I was going to riot. It's like my one wish list item and we got one. <laughs> so I'm happy. We didn't get one. The in, one wish list item. My one wish list item was a <laughs> waterfall cave. Listen, I have low standards. Okay. Well, not low oh standards, gosh. but like I'm easy to please sometimes. But yeah, this is where the mural is. But there's no silver on here at all. Which confuses me. Like, I just don't I'm think still... they have <sighs> silver as a color. Are you sure? It well, just, ugh, it just mean, feels like a weird choice. I mean, I think it's also weird that everyone here is red, except for the gold one here at the top. But then, like, you have, like, an eclipse in the background. Or yeah. it's a moon. I can't tell. But in Surumi, like, no, yeah. there's not even any color. I don't but even I don't think know. there's like a specific envoy that's depicted in Surumi. Uh, probably not. Probably not. I don't think. I know like there's the king and then followers or like priests or whatever, but I don't. I don't think there's like a specific envoy for that. I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Oh, we could go look. We could actually. We are in the game, huh? Well, we. I found you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is this? Pressure plates. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. Good luck. Does it go away? Oh, it does, does it not, not disappear? I guess okay, not. Good. Oh, yes, it does. Oh. What? Oh, you got it. I got it. Oh, That's okay. when it disappears. When I siphon out all its inner juices. <laughs> <laughs> I am like a vampire for treasure. <laughs> Suck it out with a straw. That'd be impressive, actually. <laughs> um wait okay let's let's go look at that mural unless somebody in the chat says what, so the surumi like, island one yeah is the electro dragon theory still cooking were you making an electro dragon theory <laughs> yeah oh dear I did know. i just open pandora's box uh, oh, okay kind of I, I I need to remember where the murals are in Surumi though. That's that's gonna be one challenge because I do not remember. Um. Yeah. You know that one's still cooking. I just I got really sidetracked. Um. But the the funny thing is is my whole brain rot into blood and stuff. Um, actually mm -hmm. relates. So I felt like I had to go through and prove out the blood theory first before I could work on the other one. Interesting. Because, 
yeah, they, they, it, um, it's relevant. Wait. Is this where we go? I... It's been ages since mm, I've been down here, okay? Yeah? Like, it's actually been ages. I have not been back to this island because it depresses me. Like, low-key. I forgot these little statue thingies were a thing. La, 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 la. Oh, shit. All these fucking ruined guards. So go away. So many bombs. Are you even in the same spot I am? I'm I'm coming. I think I think I'm I see you. I'm sorry, I, I didn't I kill any of the went. stuff on the way here. Okay, yeah, that's that's why I'm getting attacked. Maybe I should pull out Wanderer and just like nuke everything, because that's faster. I forgot how far these ruins go. Holy cow. Oh, we're gonna see the under yeah, uh, underground observatory too while we're under here. Oh, okay. La, 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 la. No, yeah, I see what you're talking about with it only being in gold and black. Because I just passed the first mural. I'm going in circles, Wait, so... Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> where am I? <laughs> I mean, you're in the area. Somewhere. For I'm, these murals. I'm, oh, dear. No, I... I'm gonna... Wait, wait, wait. I found you, I think. Yes, I found you. <laughs> Um, I'm in the wrong spot. I know that much. Well, there is a mural up here, though. Oh, that's right. It's up. Yeah. Oh, crap. Stuck on a branch. That is the worst part of Inazuma, mm -hmm. is all the collision. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, jeez. So okay. here's the um, moon thingy bleeding <laughs> gold on. or whatever. Let's, let's, uh... Oh. Yeah, let's kill them. <laughs> yeah. Let's just get rid of them first. They're in the another room. But they're detecting us. How are they? Through... They're detecting us through the walls. Okay? That, that's all. That's all. Oh, my goodness. Conria invented ghost robots. Ghost bots. They can phase they through did. walls. It's dead. Yay. Okay. Oh, there's still one attacking me. If I ignore it, maybe it'll go away. Wait, why does my chat keep freezing? YouTube's being a right pain in my ass today. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's go back up. Let's go back up. Uh, oh. Here I come. Wow! Wait. I got in the worst oh. part possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay all right all right this one is up 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 i don't know who painted this on the ceiling but why that is a good legitimately question. Like, who why the fuck did this <laughs> yeah this one's only got gold and black yeah i think there's green yeah, the other one did too i think there's some green or is that too. just like moss growing over it i don't know i know i know the dragon spine one has some green on it mm-hmm that's not moss. Oh. Oh, Rue's song. I miss this song. Oh. It's very sweet. It oh, is, way, but I, again, Robot. I just get so depressed whenever I come here. All right, you gotta die. Like, you're getting on my nerves. <laughs> no. <Stop>, die. <laughs> I have escaped. Um. I don't think I got very far. Oh, I'm in a dead end. Never mind. <laughs> um, that didn't that didn't go as planned. All right. Anyway, uh, where were the other ones? I ran in circles. Oh yeah, I think there's one. There it is. In... There's the observatory. The tower. Okay, so this is the observatory. Yeah, this is the, the I was always tower. wondering what this. Okay. This should, because this is I'd like a similar thing. What the fuck it is. It's not as big as uh, Decorabius Tower, but. Um, well, yeah. But it's like similar the same. In shape, though. It's the same dome structure. Um, and then there's another one on Liwa. And there's a bigger one on. Um, uh, 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 what's the other island? Um, crap. The Golden Apple Archipelago? No. Uh, the Lightning one. Stay Rai? Yes. Say Rye Island? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That one. There's one on there's another one 
not another tower, but like there's another underground structure that looks like it could have been a huge tower. Um, oh. But you know, they do have some green. You can see a little bit of green. I don't think that's mm. um, moss. But yeah, they're all gold. Well, I mean, like, technically, technically, these were like silver pearls when we put them in. They were. And the little star fragment thingies led to Seelies, didn't they? Something or Seelies like went out, I think. Something like Something that. Like yeah. Yeah. It's been a while. It has. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. I forgot how cool this cave was, though. Oh. The other mm -hmm. mural's like right here. I'm just blind. That's fine. <laughs> See, yeah, there's like the king, which makes sense. His crown is gold or whatever, yeah. but he's mostly black. Mm -hmm. But like, there's no on. I still think it's interesting here, here that or... it's um three black stars and one not black star. Oh yeah, what does that mean? A missing star, maybe. I don't know, man. Ren R, which side are you on on regarding Natlin's Gnosis? Oh my gosh. Says that we lose it to Capitano again, or are you on the Traveler will be the one who wins it before going to Shnezhnaya? Um, I say Capitano gets it and some really, really, really terrible stuff goes down in Natlin that we barely manage to prevent disaster, and then and then Shnezhnaya is like a fight for humanity. And the stakes are actually high. Ooh. That's where I'm at. I agree. I think Capitano's gonna get the Gnosis. Like, I I think there's no shot. Like, there's no... I don't think that Tsuritsa's walking away without all of the Gnosis at some point. So, and like, even if, if she doesn't get it, or Capitano doesn't get it, like... Through the not long quest, I think eventually it will end up in the Tsuritsa's hand, uh, kind of like how the Electronosis did, yeah. like eventually. So and they've already got the Cryonosis, so like Natlin yeah. is all of the stakes. That is all the dominoes. Yep. But wait, now that I think about it, shouldn't there be? Is there one more authority that Nibelung represents, which might hmm. be in the control Isn't of the that sustainer? The question. Because, like, yeah. Because we talk about a cycle of seven, but well, really it's okay, actually but, a cycle but, of but eight. But the Gnosis aren't part of Nibelung, right? So, like, it doesn't matter. That part doesn't matter. Right. So they, right, but they, there's seven dragons. Right. But the thing is, is the, those. Plus Nibelung. But the Gnosis aren't related to the dragons, technically. They're. they're no, right, but they house the, the authority December. of the dragons. Uh, I think they serve as like a, a lock and key mechanism for the authority of the dragons. But for Which that reason, sense. I think the lock and key mechanism for the authority of Nibelung should be elsewhere, like in Celestia with the primordial one. But if he lost his access to it, right. that means he lost his key, which means it's somewhere. But it's kind of unrelated right. to whether or not they get the three Gnosis. But it could be three Gnosis. Get all the Gnosis is what I meant to say. Right. But like, what it could be, right, is that... Um, she gets all the Gnosis, and she can basically for forge the Sword of Reason, let's say. Okay. Maybe the reason why it's fine to also have Capitano take it at that point is merely because... Let's go back to Chenyu Vale. Yeah, I'm getting tired of this place. Me too. Too many ru Ruin Guards. Me too. Um, oh my god, my map cursor is moving so slow. Um, so like, say, say she gets all the Gnosis, like, maybe she still needs one last key, but it's not a Gnosis. And so maybe yeah. Shnezhnaya is about figuring out what is the last key and where do we get it? All I can think about is, you know, Ryan Daughter and Albedo supposedly finding that heart of Nibirius, mm -hmm. whatever that's supposed to mean. Mm-hmm. And while that might not be a Gnosis, but we know that, you know, the Gnosis are kind of like hearts. Yeah. It just, it does, it just makes me wonder. I don't know. No, I, I hear what you're saying. It is a bit odd. <laughs> it is a bit odd. 
But there's definitely one more piece beyond the Gnosis that she needs to do anything with. Or it might be that if she has the Gnosis, it doesn't matter. Maybe there's nothing she can do. Maybe they're not as important as everyone thinks they are. And that's why the Archons are okay with giving them up. Like maybe it actually doesn't do what she thinks it does. I feel like what she's about to do is... One, it's not going to go well. Yeah. I just think it's going to have disastrous consequences. Easily. Yeah. Easily. I think she'll mess something up pretty badly. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling like. Well, too. okay. So what? What if? What if we try to go to Natlin, but instead of actually going to Natlin, we actually are instead confronted with the Saritza actually getting the Gnosis right at the start, and then doing the thing right at the start, and somehow that either sends us back in time or sends us to another place entirely. So we're not actually in Natlin, even though we kind of went. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think they do that, but, you know, fun, fun food for thought. Yeah. I feel like that might go against some of their, uh, some of their, some of their principles there, but, um, I'm, I'm still very sus about the whole Natlin thing. I, I think we are definitely going, but like you said, the timing, I, I don't know. I, I wonder if we're just going to have like an interlude before we get to Natlin. Maybe not like that a whole would make region. Sense. Maybe not a whole region, but yeah. maybe like maybe we have, I don't know, like two patches or something where it's not Natlin. Wait, what am I doing? I, need to I mean, if you think stuff. about it, if you really think about it, we're actually kind of close to Natlin because we're like almost halfway through Fontaine. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we are. But it. It feels like it just started, though, which I know is it crazy. does. It's because the Archon quest is so long now. Because they're doing the five yeah. acts. Yeah. Um, like, the... before you know it, we are, we're going to be oh. leaving. Oh, there's a whole fish thing that I just completely ignored. Oh, a but that, that would make my life easier. I'm doing this the hard way. <laughs> oh, I see what you're talking about. OK. <laughs> Leave me alone. Um. <laughs> But yeah, like, like, it should be like 4.6. We should get story quest twos for either Nu <laughs> Nouvellet or Farina or both. And a second boss, like a second world boss, um, weekly boss, I mean. Like, it's already that. Yeah. I feel like we just got the That's whale. <laughs> crazy. I know it's, oh, it's insane. I feel like we literally just um, got the wheel. Oh my god, my dog is staring at me like he's gonna die. Oh no, he needs to go out. Is he hungry? He's hungry. He's already eaten. Oh. He's just hungry. Oh. <laughs> he's trying to trick me into thinking that I didn't feed him. Nope, it's not gonna work. Well, I mean, it will work. <laughs> <laughs> Because he's too cute and you can't resist? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're weak. And also because I'll just give him kibble. Uh oh. Anyway. Oh. Um, you, no, Wait, no raw meat. Back. Just kibble, just kibble, just kibble. Just gibbs. All right. Um. Do we have... Oh. I feel like I've missed things again. Because my freaking... Thing keeps freezing. It's so annoying. Uh, uh. Oh, you're asking about something I haven't done yet. Um, Lantern Right came out for Asia, I think, already. But um, the next, the last part of Lantern Right isn't out for me yet, so I I can't answer that question about um, the last part. I, Wait, I just haven't what? done it yet. The last part of Lantern Right comes out soon. Like, within... is it a four part series? Yeah, there's like an epilogue. Oh, remember? Because like they advertised oh. Farina and, the, and the, the twins and everything. Oh, yeah. Uh Oh, did my screen just go black? No, no, I don't think. Mm. OK, well, YouTube's just being a brat, I guess. That's fine. YouTube can be a brat. <laughs> <laughs> 
sometimes. It's fine. It's fine. I'll I'll, I'll live. <laughs> I'll deal. It's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Do you th wait? Here's a question. Do you think the sustainer and Dane are the second and third descenders? Like my name for now suggests that name. No. That name. I think I've seen their videos. My name for now? I yeah, I think I've seen their videos. They have a lot of cool They said ideas. that... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll have to look into that person a little bit more deeply. But they said that Dane and the Sustainer are the second and third Descenders? Um... um I don't... I didn't watch that one. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> the, the amount of content um, I consume is commiserate to how busy I am. Oh. <laughs> so sometimes it's it's a decent amount and sometimes it's none. Um, so I end up missing things on occasion. Yee. Okay, well, since... Well, both of us haven't seen the video, but, like, I don't... Hmm. He might make a compelling case for it that I, I just don't know what the argument is. Um, right, yeah. I personally think Dane's basically who he says he is. Um, I... I I was going to make a video on this, but I'm, I'm not going to now. So I feel okay just kind of sharing, sharing at this point. Um, okay. But I was actually wondering something about Certology. So like Certology is um, not Surtur, but referencing the fire of Surtur or in some cases like the sword of Surtur. And that so, like, kind of got me okay. wondering, like, we in the NKI quest, we basically were told, hey, well, a sword can be a person. And I'm just like, oh, yeah. okay, well, if Which that's the case, Dane's then... Which really sus. Right, because he's the Twilight Sword, right? But, like, Twilight Sword yeah. also seems to be a rank, but it also makes me wonder, like, if he's not a Descender, but if he was supposed to be the sword of a Descender, right? Yeah. Like, if he's supposed to be the, um... The sort of reason. The thing that you channel through, I guess. Yeah. So that you was know, kind of what I was what thinking. I think? But I don't yeah. I don't have like a really well written anything or thought through anything yeah. because I had the idea <laughs> and then I was just like, I have too many ideas, so I'm scrapping this one. <laughs> so my about it. Okay. That makes sense though. That's actually an interesting idea that he was meant to be the sword for a descender. That's interesting. Well, he was he was part of the royal guard, right? And then like the Lumine, right. Lumine or Ether are called the prince or princess of the abyss. Yeah. So if he's a royal guard, prince or princess of the abyss. Like usually, they call like I am your sword, my your highness or whatever, right? Right. So I wondered like maybe that could be literal. Yeah, like my thoughts ab about Dane in terms of being like a sword. It just makes me think back to Kaya's whole thing about his grandfather finding a sword that fell from Celestia, and with that sword, he used it to beat an eight-headed Hydra, the Silver Banshee, the dragon from the Abyss, or whatever the fuck. Yeah. I had always interpreted that as, oh, Dane might be this sword. He might be... And it would make sense if Kaya's grandfather is King Ermin, since Dane's lift kind of was Ermin's sword, the Twilight Sword. Right. Not to mention, from a mythological perspective, oh Dainsleth is the I'm, sword I'm, of I'm King Hogni. Oh, where are you? <laughs> I, I was having trouble. I, I don't know if I just don't know the controls, but like I can't point up or down when in fish form, and so I was having trouble getting the vertical ones, but I probably just should have gone underneath it and zoomed up, and I'm just dumb. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Wait, am I able to help you? I'm able to help you. Yeah. You can do oh, puzzles okay. with I didn't... me. I thought, okay, interesting. Well, then let me help you. Oh, oops. See, this is what I was supposed to do, and that's not what I did do. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, it's a... Uh... I can't... Oh, God, I can't get this one. I'm sorry, I can't aim... Like, well, I, th see, I think it's... this is the one where you're supposed to like sit underneath it and then aim up. Oh, oh okay. Wait, who got that? I just dropped on it. Oh, that works. Yeah. Wait, where's <laughs> it? What's down there? Wee! 
Yeah, so it's, it's hard but, to say. Yeah. Like, I could see where it would be um, a thing. Like, how he could be a descender or whatever, and his memories have been tampered with or whatever. Um, I've actually wondered if, like, he isn't Ermin himself, but, like, he got his memories see, screwed I've, up. I've thought of that. I think there's a lot of overlap between him, Ermin, and I think there's going to be overlap between him and specifically the third descender. Mm-hmm. But I actually, yeah, I actually think he killed the third descender. Oh, that would be interesting. I mean, the twilight, yep. the twilight sword is so interesting to me because like Ragnarok is also called the twilight of the gods. Yeah. And Sur yeah. Sur Surtur is like, he he's one of the giants that kicks off Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods. Yeah. So it's just like this idea. I'm wondering if it's kind of supposed to be a little bit more metaphorical, as in like it's a clash of wills, because descenders are supposed to be those whose will rivals that of a world, but then they also need a sort of reason, or they need to be the sort of reason. Mm -hmm. So like it's it's like a clash of wills, right? Like who gets to shape the world, who gets to decide. On that note, I think what might be interesting for you to maybe look at is flowers for Princess Fischl because there's a line in it that does actually mention a battle for the will of the world. Oh, I forgot about and that. It yeah, it talks about Zarathustra, which you know was the prophet. Thus who spoke Zarathustra. Started... Well, guess what? Thus spoke That's Apocalypse. Exactly, <laughs> Auto Apocalypse, right? Uh, back so again. it it just it. I had you guys always are never interpreted. Be free okay, of well auto. then. No, never. The reason Otto is gone from HI3 isn't because, like, they, they didn't want him anymore. They wanted to end his stuff. They're just like, we're going to put him in a different game now. <laughs> in, like, every <laughs> game that we have now. Star Rail. That's because Genshin. he's one of the best villains they ever wrote. So it's 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 a challenge to see if they'll ever be able to write one as good again. Yeah. So if you can't, then just write different iterations of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are all auto AUs. <laughs> Genshin is a uh, Honkai Impact fan fiction. Um, <laughs> where Otto gets redemption or something. <laughs> I, I wouldn't put him past them to do that, honestly. I really wouldn't. Yeah. Some kind of redemption. Hey, but thank no, you yeah. for the super. Um, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna have a hard time saying this. Um Goat uh -oh. him Tano solos fraudlin no different. <laughs> what? I, I think I think it's it, it makes a little bit more sense if you look at the text. Um, it's like like Capitano's the goat. So goat Capitano, go to Tano. <laughs> solos fraud Natlin. <laughs> like a fake Archon. I don't know. I I, I it makes yeah. more sense if you see it written. <laughs> Or at least to me. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Oh my goodness. Woohoo! Oh crap. Okay, but yeah, but to answer that question, no. From Dane's perspective, no, I don't think he is a descender. Even though he might be like one. Kind of like how Lumine is not a descender. Or whatever sibling you chose is not a descender. Oh yeah, but it might be the same species or whatever. Same right, but it might of, be the same species. Same type of entity. But yeah. Yeah. I do think he killed him though. I do have a theory for that. So That's I'm not going to go too much into it. Yeah. But it has to do with um Parzifal. Oh. Yeah. So child time. Basic well like not the character Parzival in the game, but like <laughs> the actual play by Richard Wagner. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, if I just hold the A button, it'll let me out without turning into a fish. Oh. Oh, but now I'm just floating. Look, I'm magic. Oh, now you're nope. stuck again. <laughs> never mind. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> oh. Okay, so apparently opening this chest got us a new friend. Oh. Hello, friend. Wait, we should kill this friend. This friend is not a friend. But oh, on Fischl, 
I don't I think Fischl... Well, actually, I do think Fischl is a descender, probably. But I don't I'm... think the sustainer is. I think it's interesting that you could theoretically create a synthetic descender. You could, yeah. Because, like, if you, if you think about it, like, a lot of the stuff that Renee tried to do were, was also stuff that Deshra tried to do. And I think yeah. it's very interesting that both a god and a human ride to essentially uh, create the circumstances necessary for dissension. Yeah. So I, I I think that's just goes to show that like it might actually be possible. Like maybe they failed a couple of times, oh. but it might be possible. Ashikai. What? We're getting into the danger zone, I think. Why? Well, okay, well then let me offer this. doesn't look that this. dangerous to me. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, I mean, it goes into my he, theory. Okay, you don't, you don't have to say anything yeah. on there. I, I mean, I haven't actually thought about any of this. I'm not going to make anything on this topic. I have my own well, thing to add, which may or may not actually yeah. help you um, if we're on similar pages right now, which is cool. Actually. Well, okay. Well, here's a, here's food for thought, I guess, because the, the question was surrounding the sustainer. With like at least three theories that I know of that are like pretty <laughs> solid. Like I'm, I'm kind of like, hmm, yeah. maybe this one has more merit than I thought it did. I started out thinking of this as crack, but hmm, I don't know. Maybe it has more. The crack. All has, I'm gonna say is this. Bricks. Right. The the sustainer is based on Kiana, right? Uh yeah. Kiana First Kizwana. Of Void. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Kiana is a clone. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Well, I mean, what is a That's... making four shades of yourself? I mean, that basically sounds like cloning. Right, but also what if someone well on the subject of making fake descenders, what if someone tried to do that? Yeah. What if? Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say, though. I think it's a good what if. Mm-hmm. But I'll I'll, I'll let that uh, sit because um I don't I don't want you to spill your whole guts here. I want I want to I, I want to be surprised. Yes. Okay, I want to I want to be surprised. Okay. I know it's gonna be super cool. Yes, I will be quiet. I, will I don't be think silent. I've ever witnessed a theory from you that wasn't super cool. So, oh, thank you. I enjoy every. Yours are always really good. No, they're not always yes. really good. <laughs> I, yes, I they have, are. Oh I my hit, gosh! I have Wait. hits and misses. I have hits and misses. Um, but uh, okay, they're, but, like, you're they're usually... always entertaining. That's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> they are, but like you're usually with like in the uh, realm of this actually happened, like with your Oceanid theory oh, and yeah, the yeah. Fontanians. That was like really. That's that basically weird. what happened. <laughs> and um, uh, since it's Lantern Right and Minogius is the theme, I 100% believe your Minogius theory. No, 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 no. No, 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 you, no, no, I do. No. I believe that Capitano theory. I do. Okay. I do. I, I will say I have like extreme cope for that theory just because it would be amazing to make that much of a long shot and have it hit years later. That would be incredible. But I, I, I'm, I'm not convinced if only because like there's so much evidence for him being other things. But um, the one thing I will say, though, is one of my biggest... Um, kind of just obvious little tiny tidbits about Capitano that I was like, yeah, that kind of absolutely refutes anything Minogius related at all, um, was the fact that we know he has blue eyes. Uh-huh. But then I, then I then I realized Minogius always has his eyes closed. I think. He does. No, he, yeah. no, he had it open in one scene, didn't he? Did he? I'm trying to remember back to the. I'd have to go look. I think in one to of the scene. I think in that one scene where he was like trying to get Bosatius to put clothes on, he had his eyes open and they weren't blue. But um, like that's um... that's like the one thing is like Capitano has blue eyes, and I'm pretty sure the Geo Yaksha would have gold or brown or red eyes. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, not blue. Well, what I will say, but I do think, I think it's interesting that. Yeah. It could be an entity that took parts of Minogius. 
that would be very interesting if it was like a body possession thing where you find the body of a dead yaksha and then you possess it with the spirit yeah. of somebody else. That would be really that was, interesting. That was my theory for Capitano in my um in my Harbinger video, basically oh, that like he was Alphonse like El a, El El Elric or something. Basically, yes. And my That'd reasoning be was because of Kazuha's story quest with that sword that basically possessed people pretended oh, like it was yeah. big and bad thing and i was True. like well that's kind of similar actually to the archetype of il capitano from oh yeah 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 yeah. you know the commedia del arte so oh, i was like okay well maybe they'll do yeah they might do something like that interesting mm -hmm. okay there has to be something interesting about these geo bishops and why they're just kind of like circling each other with opposite elements so um i'm gonna i'm gonna piss them off Oh. oh, I was like, where are you? Oh, oh I think this is a local oh, I legend. These. these are bosses. Yeah. These are local legends. I'm probably going to die. I will help you. Let us. I'm Let's... not built oh, for God. this. Oh, you have to kill him at the same time, too. Oh, you do? I think. Um, yeah, you this do. This may or may not be. Yeah. Oh, uh, Gaming, please don't die. I should probably heal. <laughs> Let's let's try it. Let's try to kill. Uh, in the meantime, Azzy, thank you for the super. Uh, I appreciate that. All it says is lore spores, and I feel like I have to give you context for that onion because when um, yes, please. <laughs> I I have a thing where it's all about fungi. I I love I love the fungi. Oh, okay. And uh, when Roosevelt was here, she was like, yeah. So all of you guys are lore spores now, and so now it's now now it's a thing. <laughs> it's stuck. Yep, now it's All right. Now it... Okay, I was wondering because people were saying that. It's in my the chat YouTube frogs. Times. It's uh, my okay. YouTube frogs equivalent. I am I am uh <laughs> lore spores. <laughs> so that's what that All is. Right. But yes, hello, <laughs> welcome. If you're here, you're a lore spore. I don't make the rules. Oh, crap. Roosevelt did. Oh crap, my my Nuvelet died. Uh oh. Uh, and I that I can't revive him because Azuha died too. Uh, <laughs> you'll just, and you'll I just respawn him. at the Statue of Seven. It'll be okay. <laughs> I mean, we're halfway through. That's we'll get that's there. Something. We were completely <laughs> unprepared. We're doing okay. <laughs> Baby, please stop. Oh, you know what? On the subject of fungi, yeah. are you not pissed about what they did with? <laughs> Chamara? The mushroom in yes. Yeah. They no, just did I am. nothing. Yeah, they did nothing with no, her. Or my them. retainer of clouds. Oh dear. I I thought she would have like a bigger role, but she just didn't. No. Did you die? No. Well, yes, oh, okay. but no. <laughs> <laughs> I will not die. I'm going to be a pain in the ass and just. <laughs> farm energy and hopefully not get hit. Ah! Need particles. Oh, crap. oh my cause is me burst. To die. Give me burst. I need my burst. Okay. Healing. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> it's never good when your healer dies. Okay, we can do this now. Uh, or Gaming's gonna die. Yep, okay. Yep, 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 well, yep, Well, yep. all right, well. <sighs> it's fine, all it's right. fine, it's fine, guys. We'll just... <laughs> we're just gonna pretend to be Xiao for a little bit. That's okay. Oh, gosh. I do like that they're doing more difficult content. Or at least I should say more challenging content. Yeah, because like after they simplified Child's fight, I remember because yeah. he was way harder in the past. Yeah, but a lot of that was just because like people, um, there we go, got him, hooray. Yay. <laughs> um, we did it. Um, a lot of that was just because, like, of... at the point when he was released, most people just didn't understand the game that well, and they didn't understand um, the mechanics, and they didn't have their characters really well built or anything like that. 
Like once you understand those things, like child's fight is easy as hell. But yeah, uh, like at the time when he came out, it was not because no one really understood what was going on anyway. I feel like unless you were kind of wailing, but and then you just had all the gear. Um, but yeah, so like I was kind of worried because they also did the same thing to the whale. But I think they're just doing it for story bosses um, so that people who just want to play story mode don't get locked. Can just get through it. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they Which just makes don't get sense. Locked. I get that. Yeah. And that's yeah. totally fine. That's totally fine. I think that's okay. I think it would be kind of scummy if you locked the story behind a gotcha. Like, oh, you have to have a max character in order to fight this boss in order to experience more story, which is technically free content, but not really. Haha, -ha, because you need powerful characters, right? Like, I yeah. think that's actually would be the most scummy of scummy gotcha practices, personally. But um, No, that would not be good, yeah. Yeah, so I, I think that's why they did it. So, like, I'm really glad that they're adding these, like, optional overworld enemies, and I hope they do more of them. And I also really want, like, another world level. That would be really cool. That would be great. Yeah. But again, being stingy with rewards and shit. They'd probably give us nothing for it. The thing is, um, I actually don't think the rewards are that stingy. Like, they're definitely not throwing currency at us. But yeah, a lot of times, like, it gets compared to Star Rail. And the reality is, like, these are two very, very, very different games. Like, Genshin has a they focus definitely on... definitely are, yeah. Genshin has a focus on exploration. So, like, even when there's nothing else to do, you can explore. Yeah. You can, you know, find new things. You can just kind of like run around and exist. You've got a teapot to mess around in. You can play trading cards. Like there's lots to do. So I mm -hmm. kind of feel like on on that front, um, it's okay that there's not like a ton of gotcha currency because you don't really need it. Like the signature weapons of characters aren't really needed or necessarily desired in a lot of situations. Yeah. And they don't release characters that quickly. So you're not pulling for them that often, no. especially if, like, if you don't play Geo teams, are you really going to consider Chiori? Right? Like, you're probably going to skip I mean, her. unless you really like her design, because yeah, that's I mean, what unless you like some people her. pull for. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But, like, for the most part, like, Geo's basically put in a position where it's, like, doesn't have any reactions, and it's basically Mono Geo or Bust, unless you're Navia. <laughs> So yeah. like she could be a Navi yeah. and then, you know, like everything I say is kind of off the off the rails. But like the, the point is that something like Star Rail, which gives away a lot of free currency and a, a lot of free characters and things like that, like that game's going to have to have power creep. It just has to because you can't rely on gimmicks for characters that long when you release them that fast. Like the release rate of characters in Star Rail is is nearly twice that of Genshin. Easily. Yeah, it's actually insane. It, it, it's a I couldn't lot. really keep up. Yeah. yeah, and so like you need to have a lot of cur summon currency because you're expected to summon four more characters. So in that way, right. I actually think the games are probably on par with each other, but Star Rail will definitely feel more generous if only because they're being given like numerically more stuff. Personally, I think the value right. of that stuff is worth a little bit less. Because like Yeah, I agree. There is some power creep in Genshin, but the reality is when you have the ability to do skill expression, like you can dodge damage, you know, like you yeah, can get exploit. timing, you yeah. can exploit reactions, um, all that yeah. kind of stuff. Like you can avoid a lot of power creep for a long time, even if the game is releasing units that are power creeping. But in a game like Star Rail, yeah. where everything is basically... You can't really do that. It, yeah. it can be done it's on a It's basically spreadsheet. number space. Yeah. 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 Like Don Hung, the free one that you get, no one really uses mm -hmm. him. And the reality is, like, he just doesn't have the numbers. He's in a really bad class. He doesn't have the multipliers anymore to, like, keep up with the current content. And, like, yeah. I've, se I've seen some people do really impressive things in Star Rail, like, trying to exploit gimmicks and stuff. Um, and and they, they will use characters like that, but that's not the bulk of players. The bulk of players are going to have to pull for stronger characters. And so, like, if people think that, like, the weapon banner in Star Rail is considered generous because it doesn't have two focuses... The reality is it doesn't have two focuses because they know that you are more incentivized to pull for weapons or rather light cones than you are in Genshin. So the chances are you're going to be pulling for them sense, yeah. more frequently. So they're not trying to like... So it, it it's, it's the appearance of generosity without it actually being generosity on paper. 
And game Yeah, because we got to remember they're a company. <laughs> right. Like, game feel is such an important thing. Yeah. Like, you got to make the gotcha feel satisfying. You got to make it feel like the company actually likes you. But in, in reality, like, when, when companies like this give you free stuff, mm -hmm. I, I, I even have a problem calling it generosity or, like, feeling like I deserve it or, like, I'm entitled yeah. to it or something. Because at the, at the yeah. end of the day, it's a bit like walking through Costco and being handed free samples and being like, oh, my God, Costco cares about my well-being and my health. And they want me to not be hungry while I'm shopping. I love them so much. I care about them, too. But in reality, no, they want saying, you to buy the product. <laughs> yeah. Buy more of our shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It, it's basically that. And so I, I don't know I, I'm, I'm of I'm of a mixed mind. Yeah. In that way. Oh, look, two glazed lilies. I'm, I'm kind of They're mine now. I'm, I'm I'm on the fence with it because for me personally, I don't really play the this game to get characters, if if that makes sense. I I just play yeah. it for the story because I I don't care too much about the battle system or whatever beyond Yeah, same here. You know. Yeah, so like, I, I enjoy playing it. And actually I enjoy playing yeah. both games, to be clear. But like Yeah, yeah, I'm, both are I'm fun. I'm not I'm not like getting an additional ten pulls a patch or something isn't like a big deal to me because I, I don't play this game to summon. Yeah. But like it's, it's I fun also to understand to get a I like, but yeah. I, I also understand why people would be, you know, upset. But like to me, I feel like Genshin's probably and Star Rail, to be honest, are probably two of the most I don't want to say generous, but like it in terms of the gacha games that I've played in the past, these are pretty giving in terms of currency. Because I used to play Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Some of oh. <laughs> like my subscribers, yeah, yeah. they know. They because I used to make content as well. But like Union Cross, when it first started, it was incredibly predatory. Yeah. Towards specifically the international version of the game. Like there wasn't even a guaranteed pull for like banners. There wasn't. So coming to like Genshin, it was a completely different experience for me. Um, I mean, eventually Union Cross did get guaranteed pulls, but like for like the first year or so, it did not have that for the international version. That's wild. And it, yeah, it's crazy. So I'm like, it, it could be worse, y'all. It could be so much worse, but... I do understand also people kind of complaining. Um, I don't know. Because, you know, they also roll in the quote unquote rewards with the release of Chen Yu Vale, right? Chen Yu Vale itself, they're also including the primo, gem primo gems you get from exploration. Yeah, they are. Like anytime they release. Yeah, so you guys have to remember that as well. Like, what you think you're not getting it's like oh you're probably they probably calculated this with like the exploration that you're doing right now among other things yeah among other but things overall like the amount of currency that we've gotten over the years hasn't changed which i do think is also interesting because no. usually they it does change like you either get more or you yeah. get less but like overall like the, on average it's about the same yeah um, like that whole three wishes thing for three years. That was, I mean, we, I, if memory serves, we've gotten three wishes as like a thank you for playing this game every year, like for year one, year two. Like it wasn't like you get one yeah. wish per year. They just give you three wishes as a thank you for playing the game. And it just so happened to be three years this year. But I don't know. Yeah, it, it's 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 an interesting scenario all the way around. But um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I find I actually find um the gotcha in Star Rail to be really stressful because you have oh, to really? pull so often. Yeah. Because I don't I never treat know it seriously. Oh, yeah. I just pull for who I really liked. But I've gotten really lucky in Star Rail, so I can't really say. Fair enough. Like, yeah, I've gotten light cones when I want them, characters when I want them, like within three or two or three pulls. So I've gotten super lucky. Like Black Swan, I just pulled for her today and I got her in 20 tickets. Mm. So, I mean, but it is that stressful is because of the, it, it's, uh, yeah, I've gotten really lucky, but like, 
like you said earlier, the rate at which they release characters is insane. So it's hard to keep up with. But one of the reasons I, to... I, I swapped to playing that game a lot more casually was because of that, because I'm a hyper investor. I'm someone who's like, if I have a character I like, I, everything goes into them until they are completely maxed yeah. out, right? But the thing is, is like when I when I play Star Real, I feel like I get less value out of that. And so I'm less yeah. incentivized. And then I'm just like, well, like, I, I want to invest in this character, but like it's really expensive to max invest in these characters. And um, will they be relevant in three months? Right? Yeah. And so like I just started taking the game a lot more casually because I'm just like, I can't think about this anymore because I, I kind of just like to play with the characters I like. And if that means yeah. I don't clear memory of chaos, then I don't clear memory of chaos. Right. So. It's kind and of a depressing topic. It just topic, is what though. it is. Yeah, it is. And I, again, I get why people can be upset and everything and yeah. think a certain way. But I always remember, like, these companies are not really our friends. But, you know. Yeah. Yeah, these companies are out to make money at the end of the day. Yeah. But overall, I've enjoyed my Genshin experience and my Star Rail experience. Yeah, except same. for story bits in some parts but yeah yeah Luafu was uh star rails inazuma honestly but the, the thing that uh, annoys yeah. like what i'm what i'm kind of hoping for the Luafu, um i don't know if they'll will do it and it'll take forever for us to find out but um i i feel like the longer we're away from inazuma the more i understand it like, I still think it was executed really poorly, but I understand a lot of the themes and, like, what was going on there better. And I get why it was where yeah. it was in the timeline. Like, why okay. why yeah. that nation was the second one we went to, even though I kind of feel like Sumeru should have been. Well, okay, Oh, is third. it because of Ermin's soul? Well, I, yeah, yeah, like, I kind of feel like Sumeru really needed Ermin's soul to um, kind of, like, to just give us context for things for world building because like a lot of yeah. people didn't know Erminsel was even a thing until we got to Sumeru and it's like year three and it's kind of like well it's kind of the core world building so I felt like that was really weird yeah but, um, yeah they, they like talked around it um and then had like you know those little text messages on the transitional screens I think there was yeah. stuff about Erminsel but it didn't say it was Erminsel yeah yeah. So there's there's things like that that really annoyed me but like the more the more I I think back on Inazuma, the more I'm just like, oh, okay. Like, I understand why they were trying to do it this way. I don't really yeah. agree with it still, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. No, I think Inazuma, in terms of, like, its story and everything, I think it has a lot of value, especially now, in terms of themes, not necessarily how they did the Archon Quest. Yeah, no, not how they did but... the Archon Quest. Archon Quest is still executed no. kind of poorly. But, yeah, like, and then... I, I kind of hope it's the same for the Luafu. Like, it was kind of executed poorly but that like we look back on it yeah. we're just like okay yeah like i understand xyz this makes more sense now i understand why this was the setup like i hope i hope that's the case yeah that would be nice yeah i only enjoyed it because honestly for me it was istaroth galore central for me with the ambrosial arbor and oh. <laughs> yausha yeah yeah so i was like oh i can i can use this for genshin but Everything else, it was just, just kind of like, what's going on? Yeah, Why is I get, this happening? I get that. I get that. But somebody asked about Pinaconi. We talked about it earlier, but huh. we're enjoying. I'm enjoying it so far. I haven't played through all of it, but I'm. You have, I'm assuming. Yeah, I played quest. through everything, and I did all the side quests because I had a couple of days this week where I was in nothing but ridiculously stupid meetings, um, and so. Uh, I played through a lot of it oh, on no. meetings. It was just like a lot of ridiculous training. Oh, yeah. Like they actually trained us on like ticks. And I'm just like, listen, I know things about ticks that you don't. Trust me, I don't need this training. <laughs> but it's like, you need to be certified. I'm just like, I sit in an office all day. Why? <laughs> it's it, it's ridiculous. Corporate. I, and anyway, it's not the point. Not the point. Don't put it. I missed. Um, yeah. I know I missed some questions and I also missed some super chats. I, I saw them. Oh, yeah. But we were in the middle of something. So I didn't say anything. Um, <laughs> so Probably in the a, middle of dying somewhere. Hey, thank you so yeah. much for your super. I'm sorry it took a minute. I uh, well, you saw we got distracted. Um, 
A asks, do you think the Fowl legacy has ties to Seelys? The Fowl legacy? So, um, Child's Fowl legacy transformation. Yeah. If it has I ties to Seelys. There are nods to, like, Orm Ermin, in my opinion, and the Horned God. Oh, that's interesting. If you don't know, like, Child's... Yeah, like, how it's one-eyed and then it has two horns... So I think about that. Maybe it has Seelie references. I think um, probably less Seelie references because that would imply that Sertologi is a Seelie. Because like um, the whole mm. the foul thing, um, like his his foul legacy and whatever, uh, it's actually like a direct reference to Sertologi because like they called him the foul for one. Like ev everyone knows that part. But um, in Chinese. His armor and stuff is actually called the Demon King Armament. Hmm. And um, I think there's one that's called like Angel Destroy, like one constellation that's called like Angel Punishment or something like that. And while oh. I could I could liken that to Seelys, um, I, I think it's interesting yeah. that angels and demons are the same thing. It's just that yeah. one is in good graces and one isn't, basically. Basically. <laughs> so like in that way I could see it but I think I think it's more talking about the type of fallen Seelie than it is um, the Seelies that we're more familiar with as being like um, descendants of the moon if that makes sense okay yeah yeah that makes sense um, but I also think that the angel stuff is um, a reference to the fact that uh Child is is kind of a love letter um, from Hoyoverse to Evangelion, as he's supposed mm. to have a lot of references uh, to Asuka. And, okay. I mean, there's plenty I still of have not seen There's still plenty of connections to angels. There is, is basically like, oh, okay. all, I'm, all I'm pointing out because um, they they fight they fight angels essentially in that show interesting so i think that's that's part of why it's like angel annihilation or whatever it is um i think that's okay. why but like also also i think certology is unequivocally the enemy of the primordial one like i, I don't think anyone will refute that idea yeah i low key I mean, think like he was that. involved oh he could have been for I, sure. I think he was involved for sure, in the for second sure. who came shit like probably was pro one of those invaders he might have been for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would totally buy that. Um, but like, even even then, like the thing that, oh, where did these guys come from? I lost my train of oh. thought. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that these little water thingies were summoned. Sorry, I was just running into the bubbles. Oh, that's okay. I was getting rid of them. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, I can't, okay, there we go. Um, What did I, what did I? Hang on, I don't remember what Sertology. I was gonna say. Sertology. We were talking about Sertology. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, okay. So, so if he's if he's technically like a disciple of the disciple of an angel destroyer, like the angels in question would be like the servants of God, right? In this case. Yeah. So, like, they yeah. may not be referring to Seelies exactly, although they could also could be relating to Seelies or whoever still serves mm -hmm. the primordial one. But I, mm -hmm. I think I think it's supposed to be like he's destroying the armies of heaven, kind of thing. And I think Child's, like, inheriting that legacy, like, quite literally. Interesting. You know, they've been building up Child mm -hmm. to be, like, important. And I'm I'm wondering, really, what they're going to do with him. I, I low-key think it... <laughs> low-key. Um, I low-key <laughs> think it's because Evangelion, like, legit. I, I, I just full stop think that's the reason why. Like, why they built him in there. I'm going to have to watch um, Evangelion. I, I really, I think, well, because I also think Skaramouche is Shinji. And he actually also has ties to Ermin. Of all oh, things. really? Yeah, of all things. But, like, it, it's one that kind of makes a little bit more sense to me. Um, But I, I don't necessarily think they're trying to mimic the plot. But I think they're trying to mimic some of the things that the characters they're referencing accomplished. If that makes sense. Mm, yeah. 
Um, but like in theory, Scara should have been made with a branch of Erminsul, for one, which yes. would explain his yeah. compatibility with the tree to start with. But if if mm -hmm. if it's true that Ermin planted Erminsul, then it would make sense that he would then have connections with Ermin that way. But if I remember yeah. correctly, it was pointed out. Uh, I have it written down somewhere. I'm sorry, I don't know the name off the top of my head. Um, the person who pointed it out mentioned that the name of Scara's theme song um, refers to Nine Days, which is a reference to the nine days that Ermin um, hung himself from South Yggdrasil. From... Yeah, yeah. Which is also probably a okay. reference to the fact that he went and went back to alter time or whatever. Um, yeah. Or to try to alter time, I should say. So I think... Um, I think they're they're trying to take like a multi prong approach with that. Yeah. No, I would believe that. I personally believe it just because I went into some comparisons in my last video between oh. Venti and King Ermin, and Venti and Scaramouche have uncanny similarities themselves. That's what I have. Especially heard. like Yeah, because well, both of them have a dead nameless friend animo element connections. I also low-key believe that Venti is like the Travelers and Scaramouche has a whole bunch of Traveler references. He's a wanderer, but there's no difference between that and a Traveler. True. Then there's this whole, his, his entire story about him being abandoned by his mother is really interesting to me. And I'm wondering if that has any sort of bearing on either Ermin or Venti. But I don't know. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. I don't know how to... And then also there's the Ermin soul connections possibly as well with Venti quote unquote being born of the branches of time, which I know technically we <laughs> don't know if that's a reference to Ermin soul, but it kind of sounds like it is because Ermin soul kind of is a tree of time while not really being a tree of time but again there's like conflation between memories and time yeah so yeah i see i see i see mm -hmm. are you also thinking in terms of like that one um uh the the sort of dissension the one from uh ah yes because it's it's either that one or the wind glider i forget which um but they mention someone who the travelers left behind or who told them to leave or something like that and they don't remember who it is yeah i remember yeah. that being abandoned mm -hmm. by someone you or not being abandoned but being separated by by an elder that you don't remember and it's just like with the weird thing with venti like the comment about venti's eyes being the same color as the sky of the traveler's home world yeah like way early in the game like it it it's just that that makes him really sus. That still has I never been I either think that person... No, it has not. Oh. <laughs> and it was never mentioned again. Check it out. The uh, the thing we're looking for is uh, in the miasma zone, which I don't want to do. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to do it right now. I'm tired. I, I just noticed that was there. <laughs> I, I'm No, get away from me. I'm not here. <laughs> we're running away. Goodbye. But the dead friend thing is an animo specific thing. It is. But also, it seems like in some fashion, the characters reflect the ideals of the Archon to some extent. Yeah. So I do think that everything we notice about like specific characters, I think we can apply in some on some level mm -hmm. to the Archons. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The, um, uh, King Ermin sounds like Odin. Yeah, uh, Ermin is actually a moniker for Odin. It's, it's another name for him. Yeah. So, like, when we say Ermin, we are actually talking about Odin. Yeah. Just to be clear. But, like, the reason we're using Ermin instead of Odin is, is mostly because that's kind of what, um, Genshin wants to, wants to use. So that's what we're yeah. using. Yeah, we Who are... knows? They might end up calling him Odin. At yeah, some later. point, or some version of it. Yeah, they might. Yeah. Um. 
who do I think are the Fatui equivalents of the Ina Marathi? I don't know if they're going to... I mean, I, I think um, Ina Marathi are usually just the young lovers. In this case, it's probably going to be Colombina and Arlequino. Most likely. I agree with that, yeah. I don't know who else 100%. it would be. Like, they all kind of hate each other, so like... <laughs> yeah. And, and Which Harle kind of annoys... Like, we haven't... Go ahead, sorry. Well, I was just going to say that, like, Harlequin and Colombina are, like, typically a pretty common um, Ina Marathi in the Commedia. So, like, yeah. that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, so it's probably... It has to be. I don't know what else it would be. Yeah. Unless they want to actually go Evangelion and ship Scara and Child together. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be amazing. Which would be hilarious. <laughs> Because, like, the two have actually never interacted um, on screen in-game, so it would be hysterical. But uh, I, I don't think they'd go that route um, just to make an Ina Marathi, so I, I feel like it's probably going to be Columbina and Arlequino. I, I can't think of <laughs> another pair. Unless, yeah, I agree. Unless you think that uh, Capitano is um, Arundelin and might be lusting oh, after uh, Senora who's dead yeah, i mean like that's possible i guess maybe but like who else would there be like a love yeah. relationship between dottori and buccinella that'd be interesting oh no my darling little rooster <laughs> 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 there's gotta be fan fiction of that somewhere yeah but i well on that note i actually do think dottori and columbina are going to be super related to each other because at least in the Commedia dell'arte he sometimes is like the father of one of the Inamorati like Dottore. Oh true, yeah, yeah. So I do think there and I mean we kind of already got the sense of that, right? That they have some connection because of um a winter night's lazzo at the end they're talking to each other. And I kind of I have no substantial like backing for this, but I kind of thought immediately of um, the Nightmare Before Christmas, like Doctor Finkelstein and oh, Sally. Yeah? <laughs> I'm kind of wondering if it's gonna be a relationship like that. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I wonder if that's we'll in see. that case, Arlequino would technically be Sally, if only because um, she kind of has oh. the the corpse hilatural necrosis hands. Oh yeah. I don't know. That would be we'll weird. Just have to see what they do. That'd, that'd actually be kind of wild. Not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> that'd be kind of wild. Uh, It'd be fun. Well, we'll see what they do. Oh yeah, it's all hate them hate day today too. All hate them hate day. No, it's his birthday. Oh, oh. He hates everything every day. Well, happy birthday to him. <laughs> That's true. I, I, um, unironically, actually triple crowned him this morning. I, I forgot it oh, was his birthday. I, I forgot it was his birthday. I was just like, oh, wait, wait. I actually have to, you just uh, did that his by talent. I did. No, because I had been meaning to. And then I was just like, oh, hey, wait. I think I have all the materials for this. And then I was just like, yeah, that was funny. Anyway. <laughs> well, perfect. Any fun predictions or theories for the interlude quest? I don't really have any right now. I mean, I, I, I think, I think, okay. If they're going to try and make Arlequino playable, I feel like the interlude yeah. has to be about her. Like it has to be. Which she would has, make sense. She hasn't had nearly enough um, development, character development, for us to have her be playable yet. But yeah. if she gets an interlude, that means she doesn't get a story quest, or at least not for a long time. So. Oh yeah, because we don't have one on Scaramouche, do we? We don't have one for Scara. We don't have one for Shinha, and we don't have one for. Um, I think it's just those two actually. But I mean, That's we're so still weird. we're still missing story quests for Kaching and. Chi Chi, which is super weird as well. That is really odd. I would like to have them. We have Baiju's quest, but not Chi Chi's quest. Explain? I think, <laughs> well, Chi Chi's quest would be a really good opportunity to kind of go into life and death, kind of like we did with Hu Tao, but like on a much, on a supercharged level because Chi Chi was basically revived by a depth die. Yeah. So I would be really, and maybe there's like going to be important lore bits in that. I don't know. I don't know. I, it might be for the same reasons we don't have uh, Venti's second story quest yet. Who knows? Well, he makes more sense. He's sus. He's either sus, but like there, there's like the 
the rumor on the street is that like the writer who was working on his quest like left the company. Oh, so we were supposed to get it, so but we, we didn't. So we were supposed to get it, but then left. we never did, and then they like shuffled around a lot of timing or something. It, it, like that that's kind of what I heard. That, that's unfortunate. Um, I have no idea how um, true that is. So it's just a rumor. Yeah. But like it could be for some reason like that, but it also could be for a reason like it's just too lore heavy and we don't need to have it yet, but who knows. Um uh but uh, I did see someone ask if I'm going to do any more uh, Star Rail videos, and I'm not. Um, I, I I said this earlier, but like TLDR, I find Star Rail a very frustrating game to make content for. Um, mm -hmm. from from like a lore perspective, I just think it's not very conducive to it, and I don't enjoy making it. Um, partly because I find it not very fulfilling to learn about all these individual factions that aren't really connected to get to each other like that really annoys me but mm -hmm. also because a lot of star rails appeal to people and a lot of the things that people really like about it um has to do with its pop culture references and mm -hmm. all of them go over my head so i feel like in the end i end up not having a whole lot to add i was a very non-fiction type of kid um and i, I still am you know in a lot of ways uh i mean my pop culture isn't horrible but like i miss way more than i catch way more um uh, so i just don't feel like it's the game that i should be covering well i mean even in genshin sometimes though there are pop culture references like i think there are in yeah yeah but that you have not, to kind of pay attention at, to that i not at the rate of star Wars. not like that like yeah just, like yeah like because it's like seymour is is named after like a futurama uh, reference. Oh, I would have not. I would, I would not, not have gotten, that. but a okay. friend of mine got because he really loves Futurama. Um, but that makes sense, though. Okay, yeah. yeah. But, but you can kind of see like where the problem starts to be, right? Like if if most of the stuff in Star Rail is is very pop culturey, like it becomes really difficult if you're not well uh, exposed to to a lot of the stuff to actually like bring value in that way either. So, so I find yeah. I find that hard. So I'm not doing any more Star Rail videos unless I get like some sort of serious bee in my bonnet about it. Um, so just don't expect them. And I don't want to disappoint anybody. I think there so might I, be I don't a moment set for you. Well, I just I don't want to set any yeah. expectations, right? Because like even if I make um, right. content no, for yeah. it now, like I'd have to start a new account because oh yeah, I don't to have get footage. footage and everything. I don't have footage for yeah. half of Luafu and all of Pentagoni. so. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't have any of it, so, you know, I don't know. And it's kind of nice to just enjoy it and not have to think about recording. That, too. Stuff like that. That, too. Yeah. I also just have so many ideas for Genshin stuff that I just find so much more fascinating and I get more excited about that I just want to focus on that. Um, so my, my policy is, like, if I think of something really cool that I absolutely have to share about Star Rail that no one else is doing... Then I'll make one. But please don't expect it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'll I'll just disappoint. I'll just disappoint. It'll it'll be heartbreaking for everybody, I guess. So. So yeah, that's um, that's that. I can review the story in Star Rail. Eh. I I don't I don't really want to. I mean, like I was talking about earlier. Oh whoa. Oh, you, you interacted with the sword thingy? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was like, where the fuck did that chest come from? Okay, but... um, Magic! You know, basically I was saying you can still kind of talk about Star Rail, but from a Genshin perspective. Yeah, but I also... there are tons of parallels. Yeah, there is. And I do really like the parallels. It's just that, like, I feel like... I, I think of it the same way as I think about talking about Honkai 3rd in... Um, in context of Genshin, mm. like, I, I don't want to ostracize people who don't play both. So the True. only times I'm really going to bring it up is if, like, there's a really important example of a theme or narrative idea that Hoyo really likes, and I want to use that to push the idea that they're using it again. Um, I might like do that. Like Kenakoni? Yeah, like, like Kenakoni's Kena got some cool stuff with the mem Memoria, which I kind of like, because I can use that term for other things. Like, it's a very useful shorthand. Um, yeah. That we could adopt for liquid memories instead of calling it primordial seawater all the time. Um, 
it might be a phenomenon called memoria that manifests as primordial seawater or something similar, you know? Oh, that's a whole other topic. We can talk Th about that That is a, a whole other to like, topic. But yeah, yeah. also, <laughs> also, it's also getting really late. <laughs> oh, that is true. It, oh, gosh, it's 11 o'clock. I know. That's why I was like, yeah, it's oh, getting really goodness. late. <laughs> Yeah. So we so what what I've taken away from this is that we should probably do another one of these at some point. Probably, yes. <laughs> to take care of everything that, that didn't get talked about. Cuz we yeah, we also didn't really answer too many questions, I guess. Unfortunately. It's okay. It happens though cuz like it's really easy to get absorbed in um a deep dive about one or two questions. That kind of carry the flow of the rest of the oh, conversation yeah. for the rest of the day so it, it's it's it happens yeah this is normal this is fine you right you right you right oh gosh what was even the original question that prompted that oh they just oh, asked if i was gonna star do any videos? star world videos anymore yeah yeah oh okay i get asked that a lot because i made um a few in the beginning but i'll i'll say this um I, I'm not, I don't think I'm the only one who, who has this opinion because I feel like if I didn't, if, if, it, if I was one of the only ones who had this opinion, um, there would be more Star Rail lore creators. Um, That's true. It's a of, lot to look. It, it, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, and I am hoping that Penacone kind of revives the, um, that. the interest. Yeah. Um, and I, I find it very curious because typically Hoyo is pretty good about um, trying to support their creators. Um, I find it interesting mm -hmm. that I feel like there would be more content if they were really pushing for it, I guess is what I'm saying. You know, like they, I feel they, they're very yeah. good at incentivizing creators. And I find it interesting that there aren't that many creators. So I wonder if there's also not that many incentives being passed around. Um, I don't know anything. Yeah. So, just for the record, like that's yeah. not that's not a rumor. That's just like I'm musing, because I really, honest to God, don't know. Because I I basically told um, I told uh my contacts that I wasn't gonna do any more Star Rail stuff, so they know not to give me anything. So I I, I, I legitimately haven't heard anything i just have to clarify that so no one takes that as like oh my god they're not doing <laughs> like no 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 I, I I'm I'm just wondering. Because it is, it is very odd to me that there isn't any. That is, now that you mentioned it, it is kind of odd. Because I've never really thought about it. I, I um, can, I can name like six, which isn't that many. Who are like dedicated? Who, who like specialize in Star Rail lore, but also might do a few Genshin theories, or might do both Genshin and Star Rail, or might do Star Rail and Honkai, or might do Star Rail and some other gotchas. Like, but, but right. six, even then, six is... Is it long form not many. content or is it... Okay, yeah. Well, I, I don't go on TikTok. I don't really know. I don't. I really hate shorts, so I don't know there either. Yeah, I don't have TikTok. <laughs> I, I don't know anything about, um like, the shorts community, like, what people are doing there because I really hate shorts, so I ignore them. Uh -oh. um, so, I don't know. But for long form, like, anywhere from eight to 30 minute videos, um, I can I can honestly mm -hmm. name six that I know of that I can actually go and find. So if there are more, I either can't find them or they just don't exist. And this is just like on the English slash international side of things, right? Yeah, I don't know anything about Billy Billy. I know nothing, Okay. actually nothing. So um, can't yeah. comment on that. I don't know how it's going over there. Yeah, I, just, I guess I just never thought about that. Yeah, they're really, <laughs> maybe because I'm not interested in looking for it, but so I just never noticed that there weren't that many content creators making Star Rail stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay. I, I, I do wonder how much of that is, a is like, like, in Genshin, the world is a character. Like, it's its yeah. own character. Like, every time you go through a region, you're getting to know this world, right? So, like, everything kind of feels yeah. like it matters because, like, the world itself is something you're getting to know. But I feel like with Star Rail's universe, it's so big and so daunting. Like, it's hard yeah. to think of it as a character, as like a thing you're getting to understand. It, instead, you think of it as a space with all these little things inside of it, and you get to know each one yeah. of them independently and like how they thumbtack and string together. 
but yeah, they're not one one character, right? They don't feel like one living, yeah. breathing thing. And that's honestly by design, right? Like, I'm not listing that as a flaw. I'm just saying that, like, I right. wonder if that's part of it is because things are so disconnected in that way by design, again, so intentionally. Um, anyway, I, I, I wonder about lots of things. I don't have any answers. I don't know anything. I do I think a lot that of that should <laughs> dissipate over time, though, that feeling of disconnectedness. Because there should be so. an overall, like, an overall overarching thing that connects everything together. Like, um, what's his face? The Eon that's the fucking villain of the game. Nanook? Oh, Nanook? Yeah. I don't think he's yeah. a villain. Probably not. <laughs> but I don't think the Eons are good or bad. They just are. If that makes sense. Yeah. They're like, they're neutral and... gray kind of things. I think it's it's like... It's kind of like how, like, the nihility path, for example, like, you can either succumb to yeah. nothing matters, so why do anything? Or you could have the yeah. mindset of nothing matters, so why not do everything, right? Um, yeah. So I, I think the eons kind of, I think those are very interesting concepts and stuff, but I feel, I feel like there's so many of them, it's just hard to hold all of them in your hands at once. Yeah. There are how many how many eons are we at now? There are, there really are a ton. Yeah. There's a lot. Oh, I like there this was place. one that reminds me. So, well, I don't I, don't, I guess I just don't want to spoil. But it, it doesn't have to do with the um the main quest of Pinaconi, but it has to do with apparently like some sort of side quest. Oh yeah, which one? That talks about um like imaginary like the imaginary tree or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. The the one you talk to an old man sitting on a bench. Is that the one okay. you're thinking of? And I again, I haven't, I haven't talked to this NPC, but I think where he's like talking about the yeah. imaginary tree as like a forest. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. It, that, what that, what that makes me wonder. Yeah. How do you think that ties into Genshin, if at all? <laughs> and I know it's like. I'm kind of careful as well as like tying directly each game to each other. Like Star Rail and Honkai Impact Third have a like tangible connection, right? But Genshin yes. Impact is kind of like it's like its own entity, but we know it's kind of in the same universe. Yeah. Slash multiverse. Yeah, like it should be. Um it should be so, yeah i i i've long held the theory that the imaginary tree is supposed to be a placeholder for the lanakia cluster um oh okay interesting because why of, well because of the way that they they draw it whenever they try to make a visual of it it looks like a big golden branching tree <laughs> oh and, like theoretically you should be able to have lots of those so I think if yes. you're talking about like the vastness of the universe, like it would make sense if there's not just one tree growing out right. infinitely. There could be any number of trees. And then like So even then it's then, really like a web of Yeah, go ahead. Well well even then, like you're talking about different universes being different branches on one tree. So you're talking on about like tree, this, yeah. this infinite branching uni multiverse of multiverses, right? Like it's the scope is too big to actually conceptualize. So I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh gosh. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Yeah. So so I I think there's lots of interesting <laughs> things to think about there. Um, I also think yeah. it, it's it, it's interesting to think about um, smaller forms of imaginary trees too. Um, to think of the imaginary tree not as a single oak tree, but perhaps like an aspen tree. Like, okay, for example, aspen groves, they're all one tree. Yeah, it's like one organism. One like tree that one underground. In... But then, yeah. Like, Isn't there something like that in the northwest part of the United States? There's like an aspen forest or something. There's like a forest where it's like one organism, but it's yeah. like a whole bunch of. Okay. No, I know what you're talking about. I'm pretty sure they're all aspen. I think they're aspens. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where are you? 
I, I didn't move. <laughs> oh god, okay. <laughs> it says you're underground, but I... Oh, are you in the carp's rest? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just okay. pretty. I just wanted to sit here and watch the thing spin. Oh. Um, but yeah, like I, I, I think there's um I think there's a lot of ways to, to tie things in together. I, I don't know that I necessarily enjoy thinking about how they tie together because then it hurts my brain. Yeah. <laughs> if all, that, that's the only reason. Like I think it's really cool. I just <laughs> It's the same thing with time travel to me. Like, I think they're really cool. But like, as soon as somebody asks me to say anything I'm on it, I'm going to be like, no. I don't want to, you know. Yeah. I'll be a brat about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, at the very least, I think, okay, they're connected somehow. But how? I don't know. Not explicitly. Wendine, thanks for the super. You said, ka and Chi-Chi use different variations of a sword skill. Um, I think there's a theory that uh, Chi Chi is actually an ancestor of Kaching. Like, she, they're from the same family. Really? Well, if you think about it, they have the same color hair, same eyes, and similar sword style. Oh. So, that is interesting. Okay. It, it, I'm not saying that well, uh, she's a child, so it's not like she's actually an ancestor, but like she's from no, the same family. No, but like, same family. family. Line. No, yeah. yeah. From the yeah. same family line. But like, she can't remember anything. It'd be impossible to actually ever know unless. That's the reason why both Kaching and Chi Chi don't have story quests, is because they're from the same family. There's a conspiracy for you. That would be interesting. Um, that would be interesting if they did something with that. Yeah. I'd love to see that, but anyway. Um, why do you official and Kaching and Honkai impact third? They were a crossover character. That's the same reason why you can play as Asuka in, uh, in Honkai Impact. It's, um, you know, it, it was a, like a collaboration event. Oh, when they do that? Ages ago. Oh. Ages and ages ago. <laughs> it's really funny to me, too, because like then they did a Promare crossover event, and instead of actually putting those characters in the game, they just created characters of their... Well, they, they had the characters that already existed in the game just take their outfits. And I think it's <laughs> funny because, like, the characters in that game... Or, sorry, the characters in that show are all male. So I kind of feel like on like one level they just didn't want to make male models to be to play in um in a collab. I don't know that for sure. It's just like you know, Honkai is like ninety percent women. Yeah. Wait, does so, it even have playable male characters? Uh, it has a couple. Um, oh. not not many. Like Adam's playable in um APHO, but um otherwise. Uh, otherwise, um, otherwise, um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, 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 I think, I think that's it for today. I'm tired and my dogs yeah. are like staring I'm at me, hungry. like, let me outside. Oh yeah, go eat. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna is it just Adam? Eat. Okay. It's just Adam. Okay. So 99% of oh, the characters in Honkai, um, are, are female. Our female. Just Adam. I thought there was like I thought there was an instance where you could play as Otto for a bit, but like only as a story portion. But I I think that was. Oh, is that when he went to do his thing with Colin, like save her, quote unquote? I don't remember. Oh. Um. I didn't I didn't get that far myself, so I've just been watching playthroughs, and a lot of them skip the combat stuff when if they're just doing the story retelling. So. Um, yeah, I, I don't. I honestly, I legit don't remember. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh well. Yeah, I think that's it for well, today. We've been here for about yep. four hours. Um, it was an oh, absolute goodness. blast. Thank you guys yes, all for showing up. Yes, and thank you for having me over here. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, you to the hang out stores that showed up. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do this again. Stores. Oh my god. I'm I'm never <laughs> well, gonna that's be what rid of that now. name. I'm never gonna no. be rid of the name. Ruse created a name. It's, it's too catchy. Forever. Yeah. <laughs> Ruse started something and it's not going to end. <laughs> but yes, thank you for having me, guys. I hope it was hope it was enjoyable. It was enjoyable for me. And a reminder that Onions, a link to Onions channel is going to be in the description box. We're not going to be. It is in the description box. I put it there. I, I made sure to put it there. Um, oh, and thank you. Yeah. 
And I, it sounds like you've got a couple of videos in the works. I do. Wait, I just I need to, to actually buckle down and fucking finish them. So <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> Like, I have pages and pages and pages of script <laughs> and even stuff that's edited, but we'll see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hear you. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for coming out. Thanks for showing up. And we'll uh, we'll see you guys all next Thank time. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a good weekend. Bye. Happy El Haytham Day. Yes. yes happy and happy Chinese Day. New Year, too, by the way. Ah, oh, yes.